how has the old cards playthrough been going? So the last stream, and well the last VOD, if you're watching this, gonna watch this on YouTube, was all just a password entry. We literally entered in 734 passwords, unless I missed a couple, but we'll find that out the hard way later on. Now we're doing everything that isn't the password. So if you've actually wondered, how do you get all, uh, all the cards in the game? Or how do you complete your library, right? So, there is a spreadsheet, I'm going to put that in the description, and actually, if you're watching this on Twitch currently, uh, that's actually in uh, the cards below me. So check that out if you actually want the resource, there's a spreadsheet, and basically it tells you the way to get, or the ways, multiple for some of them, to get the card, or if it's not attainable, it tells you how to unlock the card. And this old cards playthrough isn't actually about collecting everything, it's about completing the library. So maybe take a few shortcuts, like I'll probably just fusion summon Dark Witch instead of reincarnating for it. Because it really doesn't matter. Again, this isn't an official speedrun. I'm breaking this into segments. There's no rules. I'm doing basically anything but outright cheating. Um, Aussie, look, you like it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you do. I, um, Aussie might be, uh, he might look at me and say, you know, it takes him back. I, I, I hope he would say that. God bless Aussie. Anyways, back to the rod. So basically... Now that we've entered in, <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Sharon. <laughs> now that we've entered in all the passwords, it's time to uh, we get the immortals. So you guys know I've done video on this. Uh, hidden card is the way to get it, but I'm gonna be using Deckmaster I because if you didn't know, you can see on the screen uh, for the emulator. If you enter in the PSX memory card, instead of giving you Deckmaster T, it gives you Deckmaster I for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to use it. So, there's that. So, from Deckmaster I, he actually drops uh, 9 of the Immortals. There's 11 total in the game. One of them get from Slate Warrior. With, uh, password for Slate Warrior, we've already entered that. The other one, we have to reincarnate for Mucus Yoke. Apart from that, we can get them all either Hidden Card Find or from Deckmaster I. Um, Deckmaster I actually uses all the Immortals, but... Um, Mucus Yoke doesn't actually drop in the graveyard slots, I think. I don't know. We're going to find out, actually. So we're going to get all the Immortals doing it this way. So there's a little shortcut for you guys. Otherwise, look at my um, my uh, hidden card tutorial, my deck leader tutorial. If I forget, yell at me in the comments, and I'll include that in the description. Um, we need to level up some deck leaders. So we need to level up... I'm going to level up an Earth non-insect to get a uh, Woodland Sprite. I'm going to get uh, an Earth insect so we can Destiny draw... What's it called? Uh, Arsenal Bug. And I'm also going to level up, uh, maybe, I don't know, Illusionist Faceless Mage. Because in the post-duel thing, when we b beat both sides, we can edit a map to make quick three in a row. And if we get a three in a row for Illusionist Faceless Mage, we get Brain Control. Otherwise, you can actually get that with Hidden Card. And I actually, funny enough, I actually have to get Hidden Card anyway. Because there's one card in the game you literally need a Hidden Card. And there's no other way to get it. It's Novox's Prayer. Uh, the Ritual. And I believe that's a summon Skull Guardian. You have to get Hidden Card Find and go onto uh, Tristan's map. There's actually no other way to get that card. So we actually have to get Hidden Card anyway, despite the Immortal Shortcut. The reason why I'm doing this now is that we can play the game with like rigorous levers and just slash people's hands to the graveyard. So yeah. And thanks for the follow, by the way. Mm. It was ever crap ton, like dozens of monsters to fusion summon. These are unobtainable cards, like. Uh, Black Skull Dragon, and Meteor Black Dragon. You either can fusion summon these or revive them from the enemy graveyard. I'm actually going to go through and basically fusion summon a bunch of monsters. That's like the first thing that I'm going to do after this, or... Uh, basically... Yeah, I don't have a plus lurk command, or exclamation mark lurk command, so don't worry about it. But if you want to lurk, it's fine. Um, I might fuse those while beating this guy. I'm going to see how that works, I don't know. Again, this isn't a speedrun, I don't really care. How long it takes. We have to fusion summon a lot of things. And you get, like, for example, summon skull is one of the three in a row. But if we fusion summon it, it unlocks in the library. So three in a row we have to get, pretty much. Um, we don't actually... I don't technically have to get any of these three in a row. Because we can revive... We can actually revive those cards from the graveyard. And use them and put them in our library. The mandatory reincarnations are Eye Armor, Mucus Yoke, Fiend Reflection Number 2, Inexperienced Spy, and P Firewing Pegasus, because nobody has them in the game. We could have got Firewing Pegasus uh, by starting with the King Tiger Wong who started deck. 
But instead, I started with the Thunder Yanan one, which gives us um, Goddess of Wind. Hey, Tano, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the the fun part of uh, all cards. Fun part of Hundo. We've done all the boring password entry crap, so I'm actually going to be like going through and doing stuff now. Oh my god. Yes, it's part two, sugar. Welcome. Um, so, another thing, we can reincarnation, or we can revive these cards. We got the left arm, left leg and right arm of Forbidden One, Blast Juggler, Mikazuki no Yaiba, Diane Keto, the Cure Master, Widespread Ruin, and Creature Swap. And then we can revive from the enemy, or get these in the graveyard slots from the enemy. Metal Guardian, Larvae Moth, Man Eater Bug, Man Megasonic Eye, Slot Machine, Machine King, Labyrinth Wolf, Sky Dragon, Hourglass of Courage, anti Rageki, Rageki, Stern Mystic. And then... And then we need to get all the ritual cards that the enemy drop, and then we need to ritual summon the monsters that are on those ritual cards. And, oh my god, so this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while, so why don't we finally get started? Oh, you guys ready? You guys ready for this shit? One more mandatory sip of the iced coffee. Mmm. That is fucking tasty as hell. I don't know if hell's actually tasty, but whatever. Let's stop delaying the inevitable. Bah. Alright, we're back on. That was just a screen that I ended the timer on. And the timer actually doesn't matter. It's not a speed run. I don't really care. It's just to quantize how long this actually takes. So, let's, uh... Let's build a deck. We've entered in all the passwords. This is overpowered. We haven't even, we haven't even dueled anyone yet. And we've got 733 cards in the library. So that's incredible. That is quite something. Let's just gut the whole deck. And look at one of the most overpowered cards that we have. This is Custom Duel. We don't need to have a lower deck cost than the Deck Master Eye, so... Uh... Hmm... Hmm... Alright, so Deck Master Eye is a bunch of traps. So I'm gonna give myself a Royal Decree. Zords. Change of art. Everything that's broken... Mimicat... Uh... Gravity Bind, I got Moral Decree, so fuck that. Grave Robber, absolutely. Magic Drain, we don't need it, because we can just up the summoning power. Um, What's some powerful cards with, like, destruction effects that we can probably get a lot of use out of? Powerful spells that destroy everything are useful as well. I mean, this card isn't really reliable. Probably better ideas, Fisher. And I want, uh, Dark Hole. I guess Heavy Storm? Monster Reborn. Time Seal. Copycat. Why not? Um... We can do... Uh... Actually, we'll do Color Sort. And then Deck Cost Sort. So that everything... This is the effect monsters from the highest deck cost to the lowest. So this will give us all the, like, really, really juicy cards. And we want things that blow stuff up, so Barrel Dragon, we'll add that in for sure. Um. Oh, that's right, we need to add in a bunch of stuff for fusions. Okay, uh... Well, we'll add in, like, destruction cards first. I'll give myself Slate Warrior, why not? But I'm looking for cards that just outright destroy the opponent's cards. That is Blasphere, definitely gonna do Blasphere. Um Anything that blows up the enemy cards, we're chucking in. Fiend's Hand, yes that is one. We will get the Aven Beast King, that's one that I'm looking for. We want like um What's the other one? Swordsman from a foreign land. That's one that we want. Ooh, Dissolver Rock! We destroy everything in Mountain. We destroy everything in Mountain. Man Eater Bug, we don't have that yet. We also don't have Rigorous Leadly yet. We're actually gonna get it. We can do, like, Dissolver Rock and those things, and then pick a map. Uh... We'll, we'll see how this goes. Because I need to pick one of the maps. Like, you know, Flame Ghost destroys everything in C. What if I pick a map that has all these and just, like, I don't know. Uh, that's probably not the play. Probably is not the play, but fuck it. I'm gonna put them in the deck anyway. Blow some stuff up. Um, a green capper. That'll just match the attack of whatever the highest card is. So that works. Um, Gate dig. 
Uh, we don't need that for the custom duel, because we can just max out the SP recovery. Laughing Flower? If I gain control of a card, I can... That's That counts in the library. Yeah, we use Change Slime. It's like Gruesome Goo, but... Spicy. Man-eater? Destroy everything on forest? Uh, yeah? Uh... What else have we got? Hitter Denshack. What a funny card name. Um... I have Hourglass of Life. I think we need Hourglass of Courage. That's a card that maybe doesn't have a password. Um, Fiend's Hand! There we go. Fire Reaper. That's for Meadow. What else are we looking at? Mooka Mooka! Hell yeah! Overpowered. Dark Plan is pointless because it's not going to kill the Immortals, so I'm not going to put that in yet. Change Slime! There you go. Change Slime. Magician of Faith, why not? Swordsman from a foreign land, that's what we want. Okay, so we need to fusion summon a bunch of stuff. So... Let's go back to this sort. And... Okay, so we need, like... Need a Red Eyes. Need a Meteor Dragon... Wherever the hell it is, uh, crap. There it is. Gaia, the Fierce Knight, and Curse of Dragon. I'm just going to put in cards until, like, our deck's full. Uh, Baby Dragon and Time Wizard? Well, we don't need Baby Dragon and Time Wizard, we just need Time Wizard. Which we could have chucked in earlier. I went past it, but I didn't really. There we go. Time Wizard. Uh, Shadow Ghoul. Yeah, I've added Guy the Fierce Knight in. Uh, we need Shadow Ghoul. I forget. I always forget the deck cost of this card. It's like 30 something. There we go. 34. Need Battle Ox and Mystic Horseman. How much deck cost is freaking? Oh, we need to make Mon Lavas. We need to make Mon Lavas. That's actually like we actually have to make that card. There's no other way to make it Mon Lavas but Fusion Summon it. Uh, uh what? Actually, I think it's twenty six. Why don't we do this? Type sort and then deck cost sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's a beast? I'm scrolling way past it. 29! Jesus, I underestimated this card. Uh, female plus beast? Yeah, we got a female in the deck. Oh, I did a bunch of, like, female fairies now, because we got to make Dark Witch. Yeah, there's plenty. Trust me, I've got the whole list here. And we can't fit everything in the deck, so... We're just going to have to work with what we've got. Dex full. Ah! Freugen. What's Freugen? Freugen hell, mate. Alrighty. I didn't even know that deck mostly contained. We'll do Mountain. I guess. I should have only included the Dissolver up or whatever. I'll sort the deck as we go. Oh, we're actually playing the game. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe this shit. So, I don't know. We're just going to play this out by ear. Yeah, so these cards are freaking useless. going to make a wood remains here. Look at this. You know what remains, guys? Wood. Wood remains. I only made that joke 50 times in my entire life. Alright, so we can't even do the Shadow Ghoul thing without Labyrinth. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, we'll ditch this, and you know what? I won't use Mooka Mooka right now. 
Ready? Here's a strat. Barrel Dragon. Guaranteed destroy the enemy monster because this is literally the only card on the field apart from itself. Soul Eater. It's actually a good card. It's a card that we want. He'll probably destroy us here. Watch this. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't. Holy crap. Beast King of the Swamp. Um... Well then, why don't we do... Uh, I don't actually need this. Uh, wait, does this do Seeking Dragon? I think... Maybe? No. Because that's a card I actually need to play. Unironically. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, chill out, dude. He's got Carrot Idol on the field. Um... Uh... I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. I don't know what this other card is, but um Okay. So I attack this. Cool. So I attack that. And then I'm gonna do this. Watch this. Got rid of it. That's how you use change of heart, my guys. That's how you use change of heart. It just consumes you. It's like, oh my god. Okay. This is going to be so bricky if we don't start doing, like, really cool stuff. I don't even need Monster Reborn right now. We could, like, dump a card and then draw it up later. Yo, Banes, what's up? Yeah, I, um, I hope you guys like the new emote, guys. I Sorry I didn't announce it, but Clovis Edit is now live. I've been waiting for that for weeks. No, don't do that! No. Uh... I need to kill this thing. Otherwise it's gonna suck up all the cards that we actually want to farm from the graveyard. Which is bad. It, that's actually not what we want. So I'm gonna do what's called a pro game and move and literally just attack it. <laughs> Guys, Immortals are overpowered, right? Immortals are overpowered. You just kill this guy. Aim there to offer some cards. Um, so, Deckmaster Eye is actually available. Uh, if you put a Pocket Station to the PlayStation 2 into the second slot and go to the Custom Duel. However, on the emulator, for whatever reason, if you put a... Um, what's it called? Oh shit, we're dead! We just died, man. It's fine. So we've technically played Carrot Idol. I don't think we need that card anymore. So we're going to learn our lesson. I think we're going to raise the life points a bit, because that's just brutal. Instant death. We actually technically played Carrot Idol, though, so that's now in our library. I'll show you. Let's actually confirm it first. Progress, guys. Progress. We just got chopped in half. No, we didn't. Taking control of it doesn't count. We have to revive it to play it. Okay, then. Well, now we know. Now we know. Uh, I should take out the... Um... Because let's do this. I'll take out the, the destruction cards if we're going to play on the mountain one. I'll do... We'll get rid of this card. This card. And this card. And then what do we want to add? Uh, Zoa? Yeah, we should have Metal Morph. 
Yes. Make twin of the Thunder Dragon as well with Sango. Okay. So yeah, what's up, SM Loader? Um, we've entered in all the passwords already, so now we're doing the non-password stuff. So yeah, taking control of the card doesn't count, you actually have to play it. Hmm. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I finished explaining it. Basically, if... In the emulator, if you put a PSX memory card into the second slot, you get Deckmaster I when it should be Deckmaster T. On a console, you need to enter in a pocket station into the second memory card slot to get Deckmaster I. Oh, now we got some actual good freaking cards. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have had Darkness Approaches if I've got my, uh, and like White Hole actually. So yeah. Which is funny because I actually was planning on doing a video about how to be overpowered at the start of the game, like a good edited video, because I've done that before and it just sucked. Um, and I actually wanted Deckmaster T, but I don't really know how to get Deckmaster T. You actually need like a proper cheat code or something. It's actually quite strange. Alright, fuck this guy is getting dark hold. I always imitated that noise as a kid, I don't know why. Call it stupidity. Strats! Strats, look at him. Look at him move out the way! Look at him move. Doesn't even matter. Dark hole that shit. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, what else are we going for here? Um... <sighs> Dissolve rock. No. I'll give him a smack with the Zoa. Krakazoa. Guys, do you know that The Rock has an energy drink out now called Zoa? Kind of random. Yo, Miggle, is it bowls time? Is it really? Is it really, though? Oh, I gotta play Nekigal, actually, so let's do this. How are you going, Miggle? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in, my dude. Does it give 2600 energy? Uh, no. Oh shit, my monster's gonna die. Uh, it's fine. Electromagnetic bagworm. Okay. And Zoa dies. Thanks for the good luck, Yuri. Um, this isn't a speed run. I'm just chilling. We're just hanging out today, so. Okay, you want to play GC and then you get sidetracked. You mean going commando? Never seen Deckmaster I before. This is Deckmaster I. This is absolutely Deckmaster I. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, we also want to play this. We actually unironically want to play Mystical Sand. So... Where is it on our list? Mystical Sand, we can delete. Control S. Nekigar number two. I don't know, it's somewhere. It's somewhere, but. Um. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. I want to dark hole some stuff again. <laughs> Just dark hole all of his shit and try to finish him off. Guys, how are we today? It's Sunday. The week's about to end. 
What's going on? How are we all doing? Shape snatch. What are our plans for the next upcoming week? Or actually, what are you guys doing for the rest of Sunday? You just tested positive code of- oh shit. Well, uh, I guess your plans are to take care of yourself. Indefinitely, right? Um, uh, uh, let's do this. Maybe I should have kept that plant so I could attack him on, um, the crush. RIP, COVID. I actually, I got sick once last year and I, I was literally so sick that I was like, I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to leave the house. So I literally just didn't even bother testing for COVID, so I don't actually know if I ever got COVID or not. Nothing to really work with here. Um, let's just destroy this. Free card. Alright. Ah, oh, poor Sangha. He just died. Died a terrible, terrible death. Are they your favorite emotes, Hiri? Hiri, I got a new animated emote. Yeah, there are home testing kits, and we actually had some, but I literally... I didn't even bother to use them because I was just so sick that it did not matter if I had COVID or not. I was just like, I'm just not gonna fuck with anyone. Oh, he's got a Megamorph too. What do I actually want here? Three different cards. Okay, cool. So, Electromagnetic Bagworm is off. Uh, Slate War is just a copy, and we got a Soul Leader. I actually, I want three of them, and I want three Rigorous Levers, so I'm gonna cross off one Soul Leader, so we want two more. Trying to find a good video to watch, yeah. Uh, cat video, cooking video, uh, what else is there? Oh, hour-long Ratchet and Clank analysis. That's a good one. <laughs> hunting videos, really? Are you actually into hunting? You tested positive right after you rated. Jesus Christ, what timing? Um, ba -ba 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 What part do you like about the hunting? Are you a gun person? I used to love guns when I was a kid. I loved guns when I was a kid. That was like my first, like, real interest. And I know what you're thinking, right? School shooter, right? Uh, um, I, I don't know. I just like playing Battlefield and stuff. I really just like playing, like, Battlefield 2 and... Early on, the first, like, games that I played, I loved Duke Nukem. I loved Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem 3D was, like, my favorite game ever. And so, I was really into, like, being a hero, you know, like a larger-than-life badass who just had really cool guns. Um... I could do Gorgon's Eye. The Gorgon's Eye! Alright, hold on. I'm gonna revive Gorgon's Eye. I actually, there's a code for it. I don't think I actually need to do that. Um, I don't actually think I need to do this. I think I actually entered the code for this, but whatever. I don't need Mega Morph. We've already entered the code for that. Who's the emotes are these, Peg? The gun. Oh shit! She's got a freaking like AK or something. Ah! <laughs> What is he trying to do? Flip face up defense. This is like Soul Eater or some shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of interesting. Very much interesting. Interestingly so. 
guns are very interesting. I think guns... Cars are something that, like, just a lot of, like, boys like when they're kids, you know? Um... Shit. I kind of want to fusion summon some stuff. I also do want to attack him to make life easier to destroy things. So you like classic cars. Like, I'm not... I'm not massively into older cars. Like, I've never really been the the type of, like, muscle car fan, you know? I really... I'm more into, like, agile, sporty cars. Oh, shit. Well, this guy... This car's gonna blow up. Uh... What, what sort of outraging concepts, Miggle? I remember stuff from, like... Um, what is it? I remember in Black Ops, you have, like, that prototype gun. Was it the G11? The caseless ammo gun? You gotta put it in plural, what does that mean? Am I missing a joke, or is that, like... Some jank translation. I really want this card. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Uh, um, Let's see how this goes. Hold on, hold on. So he has dropped a rigorous lever. What's up, Dusk? Everyone, thank Dusk for the Clovis edit emote, because Dusk helped me out with the Clovis edit. So if you like that emote, you got to thank Nick at LOL in the chat right now. You don't actually have to do that, but... Yo, oh, Nyx, how's it going? The Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin, the Nyx Assassin. Ails the Nyx. I've seen you around in some chats, I forget who, but it's cool to see you here. The whole gang's here. I don't know if you're, like, in chats of Jack speedrunners or Ratchet speedrunners, but it's pretty much the same, right? 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 No penis shit posts? Good! We're trying to keep a PG. No, no, it's an 18 plus stream. Hippos? Probably. I feel like I've seen you somewhere else. Maybe? Actually, maybe I've seen you in Ricky's chat. Like, some time ago. Alright, what am I looking for here? I really want the rigorous lever, actually. Way off. Way off. Oh my god. Oh, one off. Alright, you got Moisture Creature and Jowls. Moisture Creature. And where's Jowls Dark Demise? Okay, it's fine. Cool. Oh, I remember that AK. I actually remember seeing that and I'm like, what the fuck were they thinking? Not a, honestly, not the most wild concept I've ever heard about. Ever been so hungry you contemplate eating undercooked food? I have before, but you have to tell yourself it's worth the wait. Please do not kill yourself on off food. Tend to backfire and explode. Yeah, I... Oh, like, I, I, I kind of feel like if literally 100% of the guns that work are ones with a straight barrel, why would you try to... How ambitious could you be, you know what I mean? Like, literally how ambitious are you supposed to be? Alright, um... Pfft. I don't know how this is gonna go. With these draws. Just a bunch of bricky cards that don't even fuse. Blup, blup. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Give him the old fiend's hand treatment. Oh shit, I was supposed to defend with that. Doesn't matter, I've got like 8k life points. The Italians invented a fair few. Well, blame the Italians then. Servant of Catabolism, nice. Um... Servant of Catabolism. Servant of Metabolism? Does that... work? 
Finn's hand. I don't think Fiend's hand is Finnish. It's rigorous again. It's rigorous again. He had tortillas last night. Nice. What did you have inside him? Because there's like a few different Mexican dishes that have tortillas in them. Um, Fajitas are probably my favorite. Actually, probably actually my favorite Mexican food. Unironically, I really like fajitas a lot. Um... Mon Lavis. Spicy beef, salsa, and lettuce. That's all you need. Actually, cheese is very, very good in that. Good to see food mania still. Yeah, everyone's eating. Everyone's talking about the food that they ate. What are you waiting to cook, uh, Snorlax? I'm just going to call you Snorlax from now on because I like Snorlax. Sorry, but it's true. You're having cake for breakfast. Oh, that's right. That dude. Oh man, that um, that black forest cake. Holy shit! Holy shit, that looked delicious. Like a guy, the fierce knight, Zoa. I can revive uh, Zoa. Oh guys, watch this pro strat. Ready? See how far away he is from me. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Gonna move forward. Play top left. Mimicat activate it. I'm gonna flip it up. Move it forward, and then I'm gonna play Zoa. And then I'm gonna attack with Zoa. Ooh! Uh, sorry. Devil's Food Cake. What is Devil's Food Cake? What, what is this? What is this? What's Devil's Food Cake? That sounds like it would be like a red cake that's really spicy. But spicy and cake, I don't think that really goes. Oven fries and fish fingers. Man, I haven't had fish fingers in ages. Do you guys rate fish fingers or. No. Metamorph. Look at Metal Zoa. Alright, we done Metal Zoa. Uh, where is this on the list? There we go. We've done that. Done with that shit. I wanna... I, he... I, I dark hole these guys, probably. Good value. Nah, look, good value is like a pot of soup or stew or something. That shit you get your mileage out of. With some raspberry cake. I think raspberry cake probably actually sounds better than raspberry coke. That's just my take though, I don't know about you guys. This song's a banger. Did you see raspberry cake? What's up, Fen? I don't know, did you? Also, I can't offend you. Still, not even selected a color. Twitch rookie right here. <laughs> Raspberry jam's your favorite. I honestly, any jam with berries is fine. Any jam with berries is good. I prefer it over uh, marmalade. Lady marmalade. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? What the hell is this hand? Did you guys remember Moulin Rouge? The song with like... Who was in the song? It was like Christina Aguilera and like Missy Elliott. Was it Pink? I don't know. There was two other girls who did it. I don't know if anyone actually remembers that song. In Boomer City. I'm in Boomer Town right now. Whoa, I meant to press square. Oh, dude, this is going to be the most epic fucking strat you've ever seen. So I'm going to lethal him here. I'm attacking with this. And then I'm going to play my Barrel Dragon over my Goddess to get it off the field. And then when I attack him, it flips that face up and activates his effect and blows up his other card, sends it to the graveyard. I don't even know what it is, but it's going to be in the graveyard now. Isn't that pro? Drives a friend of yours crazy. Now you're driving me crazy. Nah, it's all good. You can do what you want. Yeah, Lady Marmalade. I just forget who was in it apart from Christina Aguilera. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I think when it showed up in the film clips and stuff, it just said Moulin Rouge as the artist because they didn't, they couldn't fit in. 
Oh my god, mucus yolk! Holy shit, we don't even need to reincarnate it if we get it. Dude, I actually want that. I really, really want that. Oh my god. Yes! Oh. Sorry. That was kind of gross. Alright, I want Rigorous Lever. That's the one card I'm really interested in. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, dude, dude. Oh, well, we got Mucus Joke. That's cool. I'm happy with that shit. Where's Reincarnation? Real Lady Marmalade! Oh, uh, bad singing. Sorry. I apologize. Do 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 do. Doop, doop, doop. It's like the cowbell, I think. Kid me was too afraid to admit that it was a fucking banger, but it really was. I actually, this guy, this probably wouldn't, won't surprise any of you. Alright, see you later, Rinzai. Thanks for popping in. Um, with the Tui raid. And thanks for the follow, man. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Uh, I do want to say... Yeah, in the 2000s, I absorbed a lot of, like, uh, female pop stars just watching, like, music videos and stuff like that. So... Maybe that kind of makes sense, you know. Based on how I dress. I, uh, got a lot of influence from, you know... Gwen Stefani. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Um, let's do this. Courtney Gears. No, Britney Spears was. Actually, no, Courtney Gears definitely was the best pop idol. Tragic Kingdom Witcher! Ooh, 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 ooh. What are we doing here? I think we just need to smash this. Third No Doubt album. I need... I haven't listened to No Doubt in ages, but I do... I do like No Doubt. I kind of forget that they're a thing. Honestly. Um, but I liked a lot of her solo hits. Again, as a kid, I was too afraid to admit it, but I, I really liked a lot of Gwen Stefani's hits. Oh, shit. Time Eater. You got Time Eater, you got Soul Eater, you got Zone Eater. A lot of eaters. Sunday morning. It's, uh... Yeah, not quite morning. 4.50pm. For me. It's morning for all you guys, though, isn't it? What else are some good, like, 2000s, like, female hits? Uh... Alright, what is this we can do? Let's do this. Easy like Sunday morning. Oh, Well! Does that mean Tui is also finish? Or what else has the same time zone as Finland? In Finland. Yeah, that's exactly what they sound like, right? Uh, uh sorry. It sounded like I'm like grunting really hard. Do I have a freaking dragon? No, I don't. I did. That's what I call Tui. I say Tui. T U E Y E. I just say Tui. It just makes sense to me. I do like Banjo, though. I never actually owned Banjo Tui as a kid, but I did own Banjo Kazooie, and I did really play it quite a bit. You know how yikes that was? Is it yikes? You own Kazooie now, but not Tui? That's almost cursed. No, 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 we want all the cards that you sent to the graveyard. Oh, there's a soul leader in the graveyard. Okay. Um. Okay. Shit, man. 
I think I should just end the duel here. It's a real name? Are you really like a Finnish person named Tui? Is that a Finnish name? Ooh, Twin of the Thunder Dragon. Let's do this. Let's just do this. Alright, we played THTD, so there you go. Uh, this should be... Okay, that's another card that we can cross off the list. Ooh, yeah. Alright, nice, dude. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Oh, Mucus Yoke again, yes. No. Wait, we already got Mucus Yoke. So, that's fine. We got Time Eater. What else do we need? Shape Snatch? We got a Soul Eater. That's the second one. We need Moisture Creature still. Uh, do we? I already got that. I, apparently, I already got that. I want Shape Snatch. Yes, nice. Shape Snatch! That's what the, the anime would say. Nearly not name for you. Well, good morning. Hey, Zeno, what's up? Gonna lurk with the sound off? No problem, man. No problem. Good to have you here, dude. Hope you're having a good morning, and same with you, Contessa. Actually, you came in on a radio and said hi, because we talked about the cake. Hey, sorry, I'll say hi again. Hmm... Quickly, guys, thanks a lot for being here. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for picking me as your resident hangout area thing. Majig, whatever you call it. Yeah, TUI, that makes a lot more sense. It's funny, because there's a soup called Luxa. And it's Malaysian, but Laksa, L-A-K-S-A, sounds very Finnish. Like, am I wrong, or am I... Laksa, like... In Finland, we eat the Laksa. What, with like the two dots over? Exactly! It's freaking Finnish, man! I'm like, what the hell, why is this Malaysian brand selling Finnish stuff? Okay. Hold on. Luxative. Blech. Uh, uh, this is kind of, uh, interesting. I'm gonna use this card to take control of a card, and then attack his card. Watch this. Ah, look at that. I'm gonna dump his hand to the graveyard. Oh, just get in. Get in the graveyard. I wonder if we'll discover some really, like, strange glitch. I don't know. Oh shit, that's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted! Oh, help. Help me. This car's gonna get chopped in half. Um... I'm gonna revive a Shape Snatch. Because that'll copy his leader's attack and defense, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Rakunustoma. That's probably not how you pronounce it at all. I apologize. It's too late to apologize. Oh, he attacked my shape snatch. What, a, what an asshole. Why didn't he just attack my 800 attack card? Is he stupid? Is he actually stupid? Oh, okay. What can we do here? Alright, we probably... I want to dump all these destruction cards. I actually don't need Zoa anymore. I should probably take it out of my deck. And add in, like, um... Stuff for, uh, Summon Skull. Special Summon Skull. That's what they should call the upgrade. No 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 
That card is not attacking me. Special summon D's nuts. Ha! Also, he doesn't even say got him. If you listen carefully, he just says Gadi. I don't know what the fuck that means. God, I'm sorry. That's rude. He doesn't say got him. He doesn't even pronounce it. He doesn't make an attempt to pronounce it that way. Oh my god. Gadi! It's like, dude. L to pronounce? Bruh? Gadi. Oh, I'm just being rude at this point. Yeah, I don't hear him pronounce the M. He just gives up on pronouncing the M. So what the hell is that emote? That is a very interesting emote, I must say. Very curious. Very peculiar. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Why didn't I just freaking dark hole this mofo? I kind of want to draw into a red eyes. I should probably add more, a uh, more fusion friendly thing. I have, by the way, I have a lot of emote ideas, like more than I actually have slots for, which is kind of funny. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay. Dog hole this shit. Get in the bin. Alright, so now we can do Meteor Black Dragon. Yeah, let's do Meteor Black Dragon. So we've played this officially. Meteor Black Dragon is done. No! Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright, we just fucking barrel dragon it. Because again, if Soul Eater... Just in case anyone doesn't know, Soul Eater removes all cards from both graveyards. I'm literally trying to get this guy's cards from the graveyard. So if he clears a graveyard, that's actually really bad. And I couldn't reach that card to destroy it. And the barrel dragon... All it does is destroy one random card on the field other than itself. So I had to clear what I had to make sure that it destroyed the other card. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Um... Probably finish the duel off at this point. Whoa! Calm down, buddy. Nah. 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 Can't let that happen. Cannot let that happen. Again, if he plays Soul Eater, we just have to get rid of this. Like, un or we just have to end the duel, basically. I don't know if we can... I'm pretty sure we can Swords of Revealing Light if we Spellbind it. It... I don't know. Final Eating? Nice, I hope it's not raw. Raw Source. Now I'm getting hungry. I already consumed my free calories right now. This is almost done. Okay, what do we need still? We need Servant of Catabolism. That's the thing that we... kind of struggling to get. It's not in the graveyard. I still need a Rigorous Lever, actually. I did not mean to actually hit circle there. So that's bullshit. Ah, oh, well. Um. Don't need Meteor Dragon on the deck anymore. We don't. We don't need a Thunder. It's just kind of good to close things off. I want fusion material for, um... We'll just go deck cost sort. Oh, 
Don't even really need this royal decree. Gonna add in um that. I think that's good. We don't need Zoa anymore. We've already played, you know, Metal Zoa. Just off to make a brew. Yum! Can you make me one, please? Please, pretty please. It's fine, you don't have to do that. Aeoli, yum. I actually, guys, what's your favorite dip for, or sauce with chips? I actually prefer, like, you know, hot chips without sauce. I don't hate sauce, I just prefer, I think hot chips are at their best when you just have them with salt. Or, you know, the Australian classic, chicken salt. I can get rid of Lavas as well. Tomato chutney. Yum. I actually keep meaning to buy a tomato relish. My friend and I, we used to go to this cafe and get what was we called... Ooh, 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 ooh. I actually want that. Um, they call it a flat grill, and it's literally... Um, it's... Bacon and egg just in a tortilla and grilled, but there's also tomato chutney in there. There's also tomato chutney in there. Um, and so I want to find a good tomato chutney and we try to recreate this because they stopped selling it! Anything mixed with sour cream? Oh, dude, sour... Uh, what is it? Sweet chili and sour cream is a goated combo. It is absolutely insane of a combo. It's so good. It's actually so good. Um, I always forget that that's a thing, you know. Yeah, sweet chili and sour cream. With, uh, wedges. Potato wedges. That's a classic combo, man. I actually want that a lot right now. Oof. I could actually devour a whole bowl of that right now. Alright, let's do this. Dissolve a rock. Sniped. Oh, it just it just oh, puts its camera on the servant of catabolism. That's funny as hell. I want um What do I actually want? Curse of Dragon. Fish and tartar sauce. Tartar sauce just reminds me of freaking Spongebob. Ah, tartar sauce. Like, I just thought it was synonymous for something really disgusting and bad. So I didn't really like tartar sauce. Or I thought it was just, like, gonna be terrible. Hollandaise is a, like, real breakfast kind of sauce, right? God, this is bad. Like, eggs and hollandaise. Eggs, bacon, hollandaise. I haven't really had hollandaise much. I probably should. One day if I ever go to a breakfast cafe, I should probably order and just give it a fair go, but yeah. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. This is what we wanted. Unironically, what we wanted. We only have one of this card in the deck, so it's very handy. Guy of the Dragon Champion. That's good. How <coughs> <coughs> was Salmon? I've heard about that. And I've not actually done that myself. Uh, I've never had... I actually... It took me a long time to eat salmon. It wasn't until like a year or two ago where I cooked salmon like myself and actually enjoyed it. I forget exactly... Like I'm pretty sure I literally just cooked it with... Uh... Salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder. Nice, we got that card. Can we get a three in a row? No we can't, it's fine. 
So we got Servant of Catabolism. We need Carrot Idol and Rigorous Lever. Rigorous Lever, ironically, is the one card we really wanted from this guy, and we haven't even got a single copy of it. Tried Pike. What is Pike? I thought Pike was like a, a weapon, like a spear. You know? Eggs and cheese sauce. Nah. Oh, Dark Witch. Hello. Dark Witch. More like Dark Bitch. Sorry, I, I, I apologize. I take that back. Dark Witch is amazing. I want my goddamn whoever the Twitch staff is to approve my Dark Witch emote already. I've not tried Pike. Is he, do you even pronounce it like Pike? Right? I don't even know if you pronounce it that way. Dark waifu in any source. She doesn't need source. Oh shit. Northern Pike. What is this? Can't say I've really seen that. Um, let's do this. He could have had a Gorgon's Eye there, but it doesn't really matter. Wait, hold on a minute. If you highlight the link, it actually gives you a preview. I've never seen that before. I'm stupid. I am stupid. Alright, let's get rid of all this shit. We still want a Carrot Idol. We haven't got that yet. Fish bowls or burgers? Like, uh, fish cakes? Fish cakes, that's the term people usually use. Yeah, fish cakes. Because it's like meatballs, but you don't say meat cakes or fish bowls. Yeah. It just sounds like... English is weird. It really is. Pike bowls, yum. Welcome back. Welcome back, Contessa. Um, why don't we do this? We This is like an AI lockout. So again, if you have a higher attack monster here and than here, he doesn't want to move back to this more threatening monster, so he's just going to camp here. He could play it, uh, uh, do something with this card, but I don't think he's going to. Almond Milk Mocker and Almond Milk Hot Shock. I'm not really a big fan of Almond Milk in general. Let's just do this. Fuck it. <laughs> I want to kill him in like three hits. Really not a big fan of... Um, um, I don't hate it. But I kind of see no reason to really like... It's just like you kind of pay the alternative food tax... Like, if you want to buy anything that's vegan, or this, or that, or the other, you gotta pay the goddamn price. It's just, like, unless you're actually tending to, like, serious dietary needs, it's, like, really overpriced to buy a lot of that stuff, so I just... I don't know. Alright, what else are we, were we supposed to play with this red eyes? I don't know. Fuck it, I'm just gonna attack him with it. And see if we can get, uh... What else are, We're looking up for Carrot Idol. Carrot idol. We want carrot idol. Four, what's up? How are you going? I need a carrot idol right now. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes! <sighs> Bust it. Got on the last one. Alright, so funny enough, we literally are here for rigorous lever. That's the only immortal that I haven't got yet from this guy. I've got two Soul Eaters. I'm happy to just have two. I really want Rigorous Lever though. Like that is... You know what? I think SP Recharge Rate time. Time to go back down to three, so he's more likely to actually play Rigorous Lever. That makes sense. Get your ult shit for free. Oh, are you actually lactose intolerant? Do you work at like a... Food place or... Nutrition based place or what's up? Mm. 
Let me do this. Ah, cafe. I see. I forget, was it you who, like, sold shoes or something? Or... I, I can't remember if you did uh, retail or something. Vanilla milk hot chocolate? Vanilla milk? I mean, vanilla and chocolate is a surprisingly good combo. People don't really think much of it, but it is quite unique. It's like unique but tame, it's, it's kind of weird to explain. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what we wanted. So we'll get rid of this stuff. Yeah, vanilla is just its own unique sweetness. It's same with, like, vanilla coke, you know? Uh, we technically played Summon Skull now. We are looking for, um... Um... Do this. We're Yugi guys, swords are revealing light. <clears throat> I don't need any of those cards, so we'll give him a hit. Yeah, this adds a bit more depth to chocolate. Plus, you guys know those um chocolates that are like part uh, milk chocolate and part um white chocolate? They're actually pretty good. Australians know about the mix to Freddo Frog. I wouldn't say iPhone is hipster at all. Like, it's just it's just not. Um It just ain't, my brother. I don't know. The thing is, uh, people are, like, unique enough now where it's like, you kind of a... Uh, you're not really hipster for being unique, because everyone's, like, comfortable to do that stuff. You know? If that makes sense. Played Summon Skull. Fuck it, let's just nuke the field. And then, um, the highest attack card we can play here is actually Queen... Uh, sorry, Roy Spectre of Dawn. Ah, yes, look at that, Roy Spectre of Dawn. By the way, guys, Roy Spectre of Dawn, one of the upcoming emotes. Still getting the final for that. Still giving feedback for that. Cadbury Mockers, really? I didn't know Cadbury did actual flavoured milk. I didn't actually know that. Um, yeah, you can post it in consumables in the Discord. That's probably what I would do. Because I will look at it later. I also kind of need to go to the bathroom, so I'm probably going to do that after this duel. Oh, shit, it's a Slate Warrior. Well, I should have kept my card in freaking attack mode. That sucks. If only I knew... Um, huh. Whatever this card is, I do want to destroy it. That'll make magical ghosts, so I don't want to actually do that. I'm gonna do this. You done? Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, that's not Cadbury, that's Makona with joint with Cadbury. I literally thought you meant like there was flavored milk by Cadbury. Like a whole purple thing. That would have blown my mind. Parasite. That's what it's called. 
Oh, look at that, 100 damage? Wow. Whoa, 100 damage, I can't believe it. Um... Do you like coffee? What's your drink of choice, Contessa? Hot chocolate? Tea? <sighs> Which of the two would you prefer? <sighs> Change, uh, change your heart. Ice cappuccinos. Yeah, they're my favorite. Ice coffees in general. I'm not sure where you are, but like in, uh, the United States, they call an iced coffee just like a coffee with ice blocks in it. Like a room temperature or chilled coffee. Whereas here, it's more like a milkshake, you know? Basically a milkshake, but instead of syrup, you have, um, like a shot of coffee. I feel that. I've got to do... I've got night shift tomorrow. 5pm till 10pm. And then the three shifts after that are all morning shifts. So that's going to be epic. I'm going to finish work, go home, shower, go to sleep, then wake up and shower and then go to work. Like, cool. 10pm finish and then the next morning's like a 9am start. And it's like half an hour away. So yeah. Rigorous Lever. I really want a Rigorous Lever. Like, I really... That's the only card that I want at this point. Jesus Christ. Alright, enough self-torture. I need to go to the bathroom. Be right back. I will be back soon. And we're back. Oh my god, I really want a rigorous lever. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, I don't know. American coffee culture is... I'm sorry, but it sucks. It really sucks. I actually... It took me a while to learn what creamer was. Like, when Americans say that they put creamer in coffee, I'm like, oh, so that must just be, like, a powdered milk, right? It's freaking vegetable oil, like, what? What? You know, like, it makes no sense. It actually makes no goddamn sense. Rigorous Lever doesn't have a password. The only immortal with a password is Slate Warrior. It is gross. If you actually look at the ingredients of Crema, um, and they sell Crema in, like, Australia and New Zealand and stuff like that. It's called Coffee Mate. 
It's the Nestle product Coffee Meat. And it's a creamer. Read... If you read the ingredients, it's li it literally says vegetable solids. Like, it's what? What the hell? Like, it's seriously, it's insane. It actually is just disgusting. Literally vegetable solids. Dark hole that shit. Yeah, it's just disgusting. I don't really know why people have it. I don't know what's going on in that in that regard. We did Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, so that's cool. We don't have to worry about that anymore. None of that creamy shit is absolutely horrible. Horrible. Why did I say horrible? Horrifying. Horrible and I went to say horrible and horrifying at the same time. It's a mystical elf. Look at that. How cool is that? Mystical waifu. I had an idea um, for bit emotes. I want to commission like the LP recovery cards as emotes, kind of, if that makes sense. Skelgon been played? No. Um, Skelgon has a code anyway, so yeah. Skelgon has a code. Ass ambassador. That actually sounds like a very cool title. I am the ambassador of Ass. That's something you want to own up to for sure. Um. Let's do this first of all. Pro gamer move. Pro gamer move. Look at that. We do that, and then look, we can we can end the duel. That was a pro gamer move. All right, um, I'm just gonna destroy this. That probably was a Jowls of Dark Demise. I don't actually have to kill this thing. It's like kind of a waste of time, but whatever. Playing coup. Ah, oh, so you're participating in a coup d'état, right? And overthrowing the government. I don't know. You're a secret agent, Contessa. What actually is? I don't know. You have to contextualize that for me. Because I actually did not know the origin of your name. Yes! We got it! What else I want? Slate Warrior? It doesn't actually matter. I just want... We got Rigorous Lever now. We've actually got all the Immortals already? Yeah. Um, I'll go back in because I do want to get, like, two more copies of Rigorous Lever. I don't really need three copies of Soul Eater. I've got two. But I, I just want to show you, like... This card here is Summon Lord Exodia. We have all the Immortals now, look. We literally have all the Immortals. We got five electromagnetic bagworms? Okay. Card game where you try to outsmart. So, you've come here because you like card games, huh? Double Contessa? I... yeah, I... You're gonna have to contextualize what a Contessa is. Is, it, is the Contessa like a blue-eyes white dragon? I have no idea. You have to basically explain it to me. But don't, don't worry, I've got time. I will read it. So take all the time you need. I should really edit my deck at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do that. Add in some other stuff.
<laughs> Megamorph, why not? Uh, Rigor Sleever, why not? Alright, so we need, still need Black Skull Dragon. Let's worry about other shit for now. Female and Beast. Yeah, I've done that. I did Nick a girl. I won. Harpy Lady. And a bunch of stuff that fuses with that. Harpy Lady. Uh, some Pyro. We want an uh, Elegant Egotist. Skelgon. I don't need to play Skelgon. I've already entered the code for it, so I literally am not going to play Skelgon. I'm just telling you now, I have literally no reason to play that card. Um, guess we still want Baby Dragon and Time Wizard, but... I need a warrior. Arm ninja? Yeah. Battle Ox, Mystic Horseman, blah 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 blah. Chimera. That's what we need to do. So, some four star beasts. Some fiends. I need to add in the job change mirror and stuff like that. Again. And we'll go ahead and we'll add, um, Tyro number two. Red eyes and some dark dragons as well. And then what am I missing? Time wizard, I guess, yeah. Battle Ox Mystic Horseman. I may as well put them back in. Oh, we've got a Mystic Horseman still. Good. Harpy Lady, yeah. Punished Eagle, Pyro and Wing Beast, we've got them. Shadow Ghoul into Labyrinth, we will use that later at some point. Do I have Cocoon? We need to get that from Weevil. Yeah, okay. Okay, well that makes sense. Let's get rid of the Megamorphs. And put in the weak, shitty insects into the deck. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I thought Contessa was a name, not like a title. So why am I in the frickin'... I don't have Dissolver Rock, I don't need to play on this mountain field. Ah, okay, okay. Um... That should have made Crimson Sunbird, but it didn't. Alright, whatever. Cool. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Pyro and 1300 attack Wing Beast should work, so I, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on there.
Yeah, I kind of uh, underestimated the knowledge that I needed to follow this because it's already... As long as I know what your name refers to, I kind of understand. Alright, so what I'm actually looking for here is... Job change mirror. And I can make Black Skull Dragon. Oh shit! Mirror Force. Great! Um, I am actually going to restart that. We didn't really accomplish anything there. We could have kept going, but there's no point really. If we can just start again. So I wanna... I'll give myself some more SP recharge rate. I want it to be a lower SP recharge rate because I want him to play rigorous levers. But it probably doesn't matter. If we've got a rigorous leaf and we can send his cards from the hand to the graveyard, but whatever. Um, okay. So... Ah, oh, that's good actually. That's kind of nice. We'll play um, a thousand dragon and start chasing him with that. So that's one card off a list. We don't actually need time wizard anymore. Play the Chimera now, I guess. Lose cards if you're lying or cooped. So what is cooped in this context? Like a coup d'etat, that's how you pronounce that, right? I can do some rigorous lever shenanigans here. And then what is an assassination compared to that? You can block an assassination, I guess. Yeah, with the Contessa. That makes sense. Yeah, I did enter all passwords. It took me five and a half hours. So that was great fun. That was epic. Epic for the win. So now it's time for the non-password stuff! Woohoo! Whoa, shit. It's not a good sign. Dash no good. We need, um, holy sh- oh my god. I need a freaking dark hole or something. I need it. Alright. Okay then. Well, isn't that just epic? Cool. That works. I'll take it. Servant of Catabolism. Not bad, but I don't really want that card. Um...
You better run. Oh crap, I don't want him to play there. Out of everywhere you're gonna blade, my god. I don't think this works. I'm gonna play Chimera, the flying mythical beast. Alright, well, either this, um... Either this works or it doesn't. Yeah, okay. And if it didn't work, then I could attack him, so that works out anyway. Dream Clovis. I am a dream. Oh no. It's all a dream. I mean, that's not even a dream, that's just reality. I genuinely don't care about Gruesome Goo. I do not really care about that card much. It's good on one duel in a speedrun, basically, is how that is. Yeah, so what was that dream again? I forgot. He can attack me here, I guess. Or I can force him to defend. Started playing Ratchet too. Holy! Oh my god, that sucks that he played that. That is actually gross. I don't even know if I'll end up playing Ratchet too, honestly. Like, now is just kind of not the time to play that. Definitely not going to be deviating game anytime soon. I really gotta hold on to what I've got here. If that's a trap card, I'm gonna get cocked here. I did say if I have a Switch games, I would. I'm like interested in playing Ratchet too, but I'm not planning on switching games anytime soon. So, it's all a dream. It definitely is a dream. If I'm playing any game other than this game, it's definitely a dream. Okay. Decisions. Decisions. Uh. I could attack him with Harpy Lady right now and in the duel, but I actually want to play a Punished Eagle. GG. You know what GG is actually an acronym for? Is actually Gate Guardian. People don't actually refer to Gruesome Goo as GG, so maybe we'll have to change that. Maybe GG is now going to mean that. Oh, fuck. Punished Eagle. So we've played that. We've also played Mon Lavis. So get rid of that. And Summon Skull. Com Guardian. Yeah. It's like that. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's do this. Com Guardian. Great fun, isn't it? Isn't it just hilarious because he says the word com? Whoa, it's so funny. I'm just kidding. That bird got destroyed. Wait a minute. Uh... Enemy Mirror Force. Okay, cool. I'm gonna revive his Mirror Force, actually? I actually need to do that. At some point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. This should count! It really should. I've now revived Mirror Force, so that's cool. Some Linkin Park songs that are ruined? What ones? What Linkin Park songs?
Ooh, this is good actually. I've got Mystic Awesome Battle Ox, so I gotta play that. But he doesn't even say come in that song. What I've done. Mirror Force! Where does he say it? I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let mercy. Censored. Do you even like that song? Because that's when Linkin Park started to sell out and go soft. But then they had Bleed It Out on the same album and that was pretty good. I don't really like that song that much. I don't hate it, but... Alright, we want a Rigorous Lever. Nice. I'll take a Slate Warrior, why not? And a Moisture Creature. I want basically one more Rigorous Lever and I'm done here. Um... Then again, still want to fusion summon some stuff. That I haven't yet. We just saved. Okay. I don't know. I think because I actually, like... I was, I don't know, 11 when that song came out, and it was quite overplayed. Like, it was just on all the goddamn time, honestly, and I really just had enough of it. Fuck it, I'll play this. What I've come... Sorry, that was just gross. Yo, Disaster Piece, what's up? Everyone's favorite Slipknot song. What's up? We played Punished Eagle already. Um. You decided you needed to send a nuke to his house. Why? Isn't that a bit overkill? Also, you didn't want to send a nuke. You wanted to send a mini nuke. Or a gravity bomb. Servant of Metabolism. Okay. Nuking is now legal worldwide. Ugh. Emerald would do the same. Would he though? Hope my guy doesn't get destroyed. I need to- I need to play this guy's evolution phases, so I may as well try to do that now. He would create a black hole. No, he wouldn't. He would buy a rift inducer. He would buy a Rift Inducer, my man, from uh, Gadgetron. Guys, are you Team Megacorp or Team Gadgetron? I so I am a Megacorp fanboy. Megacorp fanboy all the way. Um, I want to play Monster Reborn down here. So we have actually played as a Lava of Moth. No, don't do that, you asshole. This guy's got all the face-up defense cards. Right, I need to get rid of this. Get rid of this. The pyro? This pyro doesn't even work or do anything. Um. Have you gotten a plane? He told me he hopes the engine explodes. What the hell? What, what kind of... What kind of friend is that? Why would he hope you explode? Gadget cock. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, canonically, Gadgetron really, uh, like... Gadgetron literally stole from, um, oh shit, I didn't want him to do that. I don't really have a choice there, though.
We still need to play Great Moth, which is kind of sucky. How do we go about this, honestly? Um... Uh, 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 fuck. He's ruining everything. He's ruining everything. I want to play Harpy Lady with Elegant Egotist. You've told him he will die. Why are you guys so fucking mean to each other? I don't know. I wouldn't say this shit to my friend. I don't be joking or whatever, but I just wouldn't. What have I done, by the way? Literally what I've done. I don't know. I'm just being stupid here. Trying to cycle through my hand and play stuff. I don't really need any cards from this guy anymore. He's going to attack me directly. It's not really going to matter that much. This might be a surrender duel, though, honestly. It's just really trashy. So I kind of want to play a bunch of cards and then surrender. It does count if you surrender. But yeah, changing control of a card doesn't count, but reviving it and playing it does. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Monster Reborn? Parasite. Just look at that weird ass effect. It's so strange. With the camera bug, it's just way off. Oh, well, there you go. That makes sense. Yellow Light of Death. I've never had a Yellow Light of Death before, by the way. I don't know if any of you guys have, but I've never encountered that. Also, I am going to go to the toilet again. Uh, probably surrender this duel, honestly. I can't really do much here. Yes, I have. We actually literally got a PS3 within its release window. We never had a backwards compatible one, but we did have the fat PS3. Um, and we re-bought a fat PS3. Actually, funny story with that. Our fat PS3 got stolen by gate crashes. We hosted, uh, the post... What was it? The after party of the bowl of my, my older brother, their high school bowl. And yeah, we got gate crashed and they stole our uh, PlayStation 3. I'll be right back. I really need to go to the bar.
I'm back. Where were we? Where were we? I have played Chimera. I can get rid of that. Flame Cerebrus. That's a card that I can play with the current contents of my deck. I've also played Harpy Lady Sisters. That's one more card to get rid of on the list. Okay. Yeah, I currently own a Slim. It's at my friend's, you know, we finished Hondo, or rather all achievements on Ratchet 3. So that's just Dunzo, basically. That's just Dunzo. And we're actually, next time we hang out, we're going to start a, a crack in time. I am I told him I w I'm not going to commit to Hundo on it, because I don't even really know the game. I've, like, never really played it. But we're going to basically play that. That's the next game on the list to play, because we don't know what else to do, honestly. Uh, as, in terms of, like, a game that we both are interested in playing at some point, that's kind of just what we've picked. Which ones have I been playing? What do you mean exactly? Which what's have I been playing? Has we played Flame Cerebrus? Flame Cerberus or whatever the fuck. I played all the... 1 through to 4 and... I played a bit of a crack in time like... Maybe one or two levels. I played some of Nexus. Some of Nexus. Um... I remember at some point, I think I, I must have rented Tools of Destruction or something. Or no, I must have just played the demo of Tools of Destruction and then be like, nah, I don't actually want to play this or buy it. Um, and that's it, really. So I played the fuck out of, like, Ratchet & Clank 2, Ratchet & Clank 3, I've beaten dozens of times across my lifetime, probably. Ratchet & Clank 1, I've beaten a few times. Um... Deadlocked, I beat once. And I haven't played a meaningful amount of any other Ratchet and Clank game. Moo! We missed the three in a row. Do you want to play the frickin' Red Ice Black Dragon and Summon Skull Fusion, which we haven't done yet? We can get rid of Time Wizard. We don't need Punished. We don't need Warriors for Punished Eagle. We don't need Battle Locks. We don't need Mystic Horseman. Beast. We don't even need Beast anymore. Pyro. What else do we want to play? We'll I'll try to do the Shadow Ghoul, honestly. Shadow Ghoul into Wall Shadow in case we forget that at some point. 
What else do we want? Metal dragon. We got dragons, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just adding a couple machines. Whenever I want to replay the Ratchet and Clank games, I literally, um... I only replayed 2 and 3. I only replayed 1 this time because we obviously were getting the whole, like, all the uh, trophies on the trilogy. I need a map with some labyrinth. Just the one tile, I'll take it. You have to do it as a marathon. What, do you have, like, someone's gonna kill you if you don't? Ooh, the sun's down. I can actually open up my blinds. I don't know. I find if you try to commit too hard, it, you tend to get exhausted. You know? Yop, yop. Holy crap. What did he do that for? Well, I mean, obviously he's gonna create Crush. But, like, the AI is not smart enough to do that? That's insane. I think he literally just miscalculated. Which is funny as hell. Oh, nice. Rigorous lever. Great. What a sound effect. What a hilarious sound effect. Okay. That's what happens when rigorous lever crashes into rigorous lever. Everything happens twice. Biop biop. What am I trying to play? Crimson Sunbird. This should be it. Yep. I swear, if none of these are working for whatever reason, I am kind of fucked. Because it's literally taking me like two hours just to do a bunch of nothing, pretty much. Um. What's the highest attack in mortal we can revive? Shape Snatch. Or well, Moisture Creature, I guess. I mean, the thing is, you can casually play through them in, like, a few hours if you know what you're doing, but obviously, when we replay it, we want to do all the New Game Plus stuff. Or, like, get all the skill points and all that stuff. So, doing all that, especially when you're not familiar with them to a degree, it can take a lot of time. I kinda want a dragon so I can play Metal Dragon here. 
I can take all the machines out of my deck. I may have destroyed uh, all my dragons when I rigorous leave it my hand. It was actually very handy. I asked uh, Tana about, like, information leveling up in um, Ratchet 3. And, like, knowing how to do it properly saved so much time. So much time. You just do it uh, after you unlock Nefarious, you walk back to the planet. I fucking knew it. That's hilarious, honestly. That's actually fucking hilarious. Um, well, I can still lethal him with the Harpy Lady anyway, so... I don't actually need to win this duel anyway, but, you know. Once he powers everything up with Slate Warrior, all of a sudden he's like, whoa, I'm super powerful. Okay, cool. I made Metal Dragon, that's kind of the point here. I don't even think you need to flip this up, but whatever. Like, I think Fusion Summoning just clocks it. I also don't know if you need to finish a turn with a card face. I don't think that's how it works. Um, but basically we have played um, Metal Dragon, so get rid of that. So why do I have Stuffed Animal here? That's not a fusion. We're not trying to get Regress Lever. No. No, one off again. One off again! Fuck you then! If none of these are counting, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. I'm just gonna check Metal Dragon. Yeah, these are counting good. I had no doubt that they would be counting. Look at how much of the library we've already completed. I know, it's only slowing down from now. Um, at this point, we just need stuff for fusion, so... That's right, I summon Skull. Stone D, okay. So I need a rock. Yo, lasagna, thanks for the good luck. It's not even a speed run, we don't really need luck, just... Just kind of taking this casually, playing it out, you know. That's not- they're not rocks, they're machines, I'm stupid. Yeah, what's up man, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream of fun. We got two the thing that hides in the mud. Yoa. Zoa. Dark Elf. Dark Elf, it's everyone's favorite. Um, so we're adding... Winged Elf, Dancing Elf, and Dark Spellcasters. I need to make Ushioni as well, so... I don't know if they need to be dark, I think it's 1500 plus. Yo, Uranian Kitten, how are you? Kitten, thanks for popping in. Good to see you around. I've seen you around the block plenty of times, so hey. Good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you found a new place you can call home. I, um... What else can we add in? 
Blocksticles. What is that? Was that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Like, Blocker or something? Um, I want... Cherubin the Fire Knight. Because that works with that. Dragon Piper should work. Heard the word block. Been around the block, you know. And thanks again, Illidan, for the good luck. I should make Oceani with something like that. Need reptiles. How much cards we... Plenty. Need some reptiles and some... Don't need that many. Reptiles and uh, clowns. We need... Um... Grass clown. We oh, yeah, got clown zombie. No, we need zombies. Yeah, zombie, clown zombie. Bushi, Oni, Soul Hunter, Brecker, Raiders, Seeking Dragon. Need fifteen hundred attack aquas for this. With any dragon should work. And then what else we need? Alright, set cover Seeking Dragon. And then I forget the fusion for Brachio Raidus. I need to look this up, actually. Because I'll just do this now while we're here. Dinosaur and Aqua. Or Rock. I've got plenty of aquas, so I just add in some high attack dinosaurs, that works. Okay. And then what else can we chuck in? Junk. Actually, hold on. Yup, yup. We add in a uh, cocoon and then some. We'll add in some, like, shenanigan cards. Monster Reborn and uh, Mimic Cat so we can revive stuff that we've dumped. Yeah, this deck edit music will be burned into your memory permanently, so I do apologize. You're enjoying Redux? Awesome, man. Is it your first uh, playthrough in Redux? How is your Redux journey going? A card called Blockman. Yeah, there's also Block Dragon. And Block Dragon is actually like a very broken card. Like, really broken. Um, let's use this map to lock ourselves in. We'll probably just fuse a bunch of stuff and then surrender. I need to re-up the summoning power, actually, so... Uh, again, I don't actually know if you have to flip these face up. I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to, but whatever. Yeah, let me max out my SP, because that'll make this a lot easier. That fusion counts, though. Oh, your 10th run, damn. Well. You're quite experienced, you've maybe beaten the game more than I have at this point. Hope you can get some decent cards from Marco. I mean, you can get Suijin from him. Roaring Ocean Snake isn't available in the slots anymore, because that card's just, like, extremely powerful, but... Yeah. Also, I do apologize, but I do need to go to the bathroom again. I'll be right back.
But you know, I don't really plan to have to use the bathroom this often. It just kind of happens. Still need to play goddamn Summon Skull... Uh, sorry, Black Skull Dragon. Alright then. Cocoon of evolution is a mystery, full of change that no one sees. Clock makes a fool of history. Okay, so... Braco Raiders should be rock and dinosaur with this amount of power, right? Nope. Yeah, the other option is uh, you can revive it from uh, Weevil. There we go. So there's Brecco Raiders. Penguin Knight strategy, nice. I like that a lot, actually. That's being resourceful. Oh, he's got a carrot item now. Well, fuck. I have a dragon. We've got a fiend. Uh... Gonna revive Tyhone. And I'm gonna play Violet... Violent Rain on top of this, and that will make the Seeking Dragon. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm going to give it one more turn. I'll see what else I draw anyway. Okay. Just need to do a bunch of fusion summons, basically. I now just need to draw one of my uh, fiends that I put in the deck, because we can finally play the Black Skull Dragon. Well, have I already played that? It's not on my page anymore, but I don't actually remember playing that. Oh, we'll just do it now. Oh yes, here it is. Okay, good, 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 good. So he played the Black Skull Dragon. A Dark Elf, Ushioni, and Soul Hunter. Um, okay. These 1500 plus attack dark spellcasters will make Dark Elf or Ushi Oni once I draw an appropriate fusion target with it, which is why I put them in the deck. Okay, here we go. So here's one thing. You have the most smug smile? Why? 
Wait, what's the context between the ban of God of War at GDQ? Why is it banned? Need a reptile to fuse uh, with the Cross Cloud to play a Zol Hunter. And we just need to worry about the Ushioni after that. Mini games they have sex with what the hell man, that's wild. Cross clown and cherubin, because the fusion's broken, this should work. Shit! When I'm stupid, he makes a reptile with it. Oh well, I'm fucking stupid. I'm stupid. I might be able to fuse uh yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh I can fuse Dark Elf with that. So I'm actually very impressed with Deckmaster K AI to actually figure out that it can move that card there. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Oh my god. Yeah, I did see that. And I'm not ultra interested in the, like, remakes of this sort of thing, honestly. I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same, you know? Yes, Soul Hunter. Woohoo! We just need a Ushioni now, and that's like the last fusion we need. And then we can actually go back into the normal game, actually, and start playing, honestly. Like, the Japanese version is censored, but the English... It, how does that work? Isn't it always the other, other way around? Like, this game, the English version is the only, like, censored one. Um... Alright, so we need to play Ushioni somehow. That's right, he got the fucking Soul Eater. Alright, well, he got Soul Eater up, so... Ushi-Oni. Okay. Okay. Cherubin and, uh, some spellcast to 1500, then we're good. And then that's the last fusion we have to actually make. Bum ba dum bum bum ba ba bum bum. Yeah, aren't Japan like cool with that stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know, man. Change a cutscene where Kratos burns him out alive. In the uncensored version of this game, one of the cards is literally someone burning at a stake. Like, it's ridiculous. It's actually insane. Alright, so making Ushioni, so... We, uh, play Illusory Gentleman. There's Brekio Raiders again. Uh, we only need to make a Ushioni, and then we can probably just literally start playing the game normally. Yeah, there we go. There's the Ushioni. We played Ushioni, it's official. I don't even think we need to do another turn after this, but whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure I actually have to do that, but... It's just safety, so I don't have to go into the duel and do that all over again. Cool! Cool, cool, cool. Ah... Uh, cool.
Double save, why not? Yo, Pyunga, what's up? Pyunga flexing with the goddamn two-star rank badge. Huge shit. Huge. Yeah, I fused Cherub in the Fire Knight with a 1500 plus attack spellcaster. Because that works, because they got it wrong in this game. They fucked it up. Alright, what do we want to do now? We want to make, like, a, a good PvE deck, I guess. Even though we've only got two rigorous lever. No, you don't. If you want a leader ability, you have to donate a thousand bits. That's how it works. That's literally... You actually... If you do, if you donate a thousand bits, you get a permanent leader ability badge. And the first person to do that, I will unironically let them select which badge is a 1k bit badge so that they have that leader ability. I'm not kidding, by the way. I dare you. I dare you to do it. Alright, what are we looking for here? Mimicat. Grave Robber. Monster Reborn. And we gotta add in some low deck cost shit. Roaring Ocean Snake, carry me. Carry me home. Alright. Dimension Hole, oh please, before I forget. Before I forget. Darkness Approaches, apparently that's good. We'll find some use for that. We can add Magician of Faith, I guess. What the hell am I looking for even to put in my deck at this point? Like, let's go to deck cost sort. Where's, um, I'll get myself Mechamorphs? Yeah. Um, Cocoon Evolution, I'm actually interested in playing those cards at some point, so... Um, let me go back to the Insects. And, like, chuck all the compatible ones into the deck. Some value cards, and then I need some, like, damage, honestly. I got- I got damage. I got the frickin' Immortals, man. I'm good for that. Magical neutralizing, magical neutralizing Force Field is actually pretty good. Magical Labyrinth, why not? We'll figure out what's useless later on. I want, um... Magician of Faith, definitely want that card. Ancient Jaw. I don't even know why I'd want that. White Hole! White Hole and Dark Hole, that's what I need. That's a Wombo combo. White Hole and Dark Hole is broken. Literally unironically broken. That's cool. Alright, we got a pretty decent deck, I guess. Whoa, guys, uh, we're actually gonna play the game! Holy shit! We're actually gonna play the game! Alright. Let's save. Okay. So, a card we need from Teo actually is our Glass of Courage. We can also get that from Seto, but if we see it here, we should go for it. You like that emote? Because eventually that's going to become a tier 3 sub emote, so use it while you can. 
I'm just waiting for my new sets to come in, and once my slots are filled, it's being... Relegated? I think that's the word. Dark piercing light! It's your favorite. Use it while you can. I'm telling you. Um, Alright. Fuck it, I'll just play this now. What a what a sound effect. I really should keep Magician of Faith with this card, I'm stupid. But I really just wanted to push through whatever was in my hand. Okay then. 1300, huh? What the hell is that? Why wouldn't it move straight towards my leader? I don't know. Look at this powerhouse. 2200 attack, rigorous lever. Wow. Look at this, a damage Minamushi Warrior, overpowered. 1300 attack, wow. Wowzers. Boom. You like that combo, don't you? It's funny, like, the double standards on Twitch. I literally got my instant upload revoked because I had, uh, like, someone smoking. And then there's literally emotes that are just literally someone's ass, and it's fine. And like, literally people have those gasm emotes that are literally like, cropped porn. And it's just like, what? Literally what? Okay, uh... Well, you've seen one of the chat. It's right above you. Ooh, there it is! There's the hourglass. There's the hourglass. Look at that shit. We just slashed the hourglass out of our hands, so if we get that, that's very, very, very good. We don't have to worry about getting hourglass of courage if we get it right now. So that's cool. Well, we need to get it. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, the middle one was way off. That wasn't even close, that last one. Helga. I guess they give it a free pass if it's Helga for body positivity. You go, Helga. You go. I don't know why I'm saving all the time. I do want to get this card. No. They don't confirm this in Uyo. It's a joke! It's a joke. Alright, cool, 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 cool. 
This is unironically based to open with this. You can if you want to, but... <laughs> you can enjoy whatever you like. Um... Okay. Yeah, but that's literally a joke. Like, that doesn't actually confirm anything. Just saying. You can believe what you want, but it does not confirm anything. It doesn't raise a ton of questions. It's just saying that... Because she's such a masculine woman, he's making a joke. That's literally the joke. Is that she has a questionable gender because she's not conforming to female... Bullshit. Um... It's literally just because she's not feminine. That's literally what the joke is. Whoa, she needs to calm down. With the two equips. What's up, GMS? How's life, GMS? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're in a better mood than when we, uh... When I last uh, bothered you for the Python script, which I'm totally not using right now, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. What the hell is this? What the hell is gah? You panicked? What? You got work or something? Do you have work, usually? She only has two cars in her hand or something? Yeah, fuck. I don't want insect imitation, I want hourglass of courage. Funny enough, GMS, I'm actually starting work tomorrow! Oh my god, I'm actually shitting myself. Um, I haven't worked in literally two years, so there's gonna be a new venture. This is my glow up, you know, starting work again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we do this, and he, he uh, she will attack it, and then we get Great Moth. Cool. No real fucks given there. Um, uh, why don't we do this? And I can't attack that anyway, so fuck it. All I want is an hourglass courage. It's all I care about. I needed to kill this though, so that's acceptable. <sighs> Alright, this is very good. Did I watch the vid? No. I sell a glass of life, that's not what I want. <laughs> I 
Yay, we played Great Moth. I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. Now for the Wombo combo. Dark Hole and Trigger My Own White Hole and New Care Field. This is the ultimate combo. Broken as hell. Really unbelievable combo, actually. Oh, I can actually revive a card. <laughs> uh, I I don't even have darkness of bridges yet. I was for whatever reason I I had the idea that I'd activate magician of faith and activate darkness of bridges there, but I don't even have that in the graveyard. Epic. All right, well fuck it. Let's just destroy whatever card she has. Yeah, I don't know, by the time I was asking for help with that, it was super late, and I really just wanted to go to bed. Um, again, I only asked you so late, because it was that point of the conversation, like, after a stream I finished at 2am, I was talking to G-Car for, like, over an hour. Or it took me over an hour to get to that point, and then, yeah. Hey himself, what's up? Welcome. Mr. Brown name. No hourglass of courage, uh, whatever. There was hourglass of life, but I have that card. It's a password for that. Koga's being a hom homophobic piece of shit. Was he directing it towards you, or was he just, like, passively doing that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand that. It says I didn't really want to pry and provoke... Like, I, didn't, I don't know if you really want to ever talk about that stuff or not. So I don't really... I try not to dig too deep into it. I feel like... Yeah, you can get it on Kaiba, but I feel like... After I get three wins, she starts to fuse, and it might actually be the play to do it on this duel. I probably could go back, but whatever. In general, I see. So it's just being a douche, pretty much. Bear up. Pio, pio. Oh, shit. What a stat. 3k attack, 1500 defense. Um... Have I got the Bued Ritual Offsetto yet? No, I haven't even started that side of the game. This is literally the first, the only duel that I've beaten. It took me 5 hours and 20 minutes to enter the passwords, and then I basically, in the custom duel, I farmed Deckmaster Eye to get the Immortals while doing, like, all the fusions, like, Black Skull Dragon and all that stuff. So, yeah. I probably would just rush this duel, because once she has three wins, she starts to fuse, and that'll probably make it easier to ferry her contents into the graveyard. I wanted three rigorous levers, can I, I- I stopped at two, but I probably should have got more. This is a good card. But I haven't even done that side of the game yet, so, yeah, about that. That is true, but in my head, she was just going to play and I was going to get it, so I didn't need to worry about it while I was doing that. Because that way, I can just use Soul Eater against Seto to get rid of all the monsters. And then that way, it's it's a lot easier. Like, much, much, much easier. 
to get the um, the ritual. If I can play Soul Eater against him. I can theoretically just play him without the Soul Eater strategy, but it would be nice again to get it now. Plus, she played it very early. In two of the slots, I missed it by one, of course, as you would expect. Oh, Soul of the Pure. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> Dig for a rigorous lever. Fuck this. And again, uh, I'm not really- this isn't a speed run. I'm not really in a rush. I'm just kind of playing this out, like, as I go. So, the time is only there so people- I can actually quantize how long it took. Dude, Slate Warrior is fucking vibing so hard. Oh my holy shit. No, the first stream was me entering in passwords for 5 hours and 20 minutes. So, yeah. So that part's done and now we get to do everything else. Plus, there are only actually four cards that are mandatory for reincarnation. The rest you can do other shenanigans. Did I get super pro? No, I failed a lot of them. Towards the end, I was completely losing my mind, honestly. Like, completely losing my goddamn mind. Alright, fuck this. Let's end the duel. Once she's at three goddamn wins, or once we're at three goddamn wins, she, uh... Yeah, like, for example, Dark Witch, like, if... You know how you can just put cards in your library? You just fuse Dark Witch. You know? No, it's not about the other starter decks. I'm literally just... I fuse Dark Witch instead of reincarnating for it, and then it shows up in the library, and I don't know why other people don't do that. Of course I am. There was nobody ever said you had to obtain all hard copies and then complete the library after that. It's just about getting all cards in the library. I mean, it makes sense to me. If the goal is to complete your library, all cards, it makes sense to me. I don't think anyone considered that that was a possibility, but it's like, if you can't get all the cards, and you have to complete the library anyway, why wouldn't you just do that, you know? Because 90% of the cards, uh, you can just revive off of other people or fuse them. Full hand Teo, there you go. There you go. And again, the thing is, there's literally no rules to this run. Ah, oh, look at that! There you go! That was my strategy the whole time. Um, pfft. Okay. That's the thing, like, there's no rules, there's no... This isn't a, even a category. Even if it was, I wouldn't even care. The point I'm actually doing this for is when people ask if I ever gotten all the cards, I can be like, yeah. And here's the video if you want to know how to do it. There's like a reference of... How I get all the stuff, you know? So I think it's pretty fair. Again, if there's no official, like, you have to... No one ever stated you actually have to get all the hard copies. Because you have to complete the library anyway. That's the point of the run, is to complete the library, so why not... And it's the same with, like... Instead of doing Hidden Card, even though you have to get Hidden Card, you have to get Novox's Prayer with Hidden Card, there's no other way around it. Um... 
I literally use Deckmaster Eye because that's anyone, literally anyone who has this emulator installed has access to Deckmaster Eye. Because for whatever reason, if you put a PSX memory card in the second slot, this gives you Deckmaster Eye instead of Deckmaster T, and I still don't know why, but it works, and anyone who has this installed can do that. Alright, let's get this goddamn card, please. No. No. Yes! Ooh, yeah! We got Hourglass of Courage. Fuck yeah. Cool. Alright. Handy. Alright, let's uh, move on. And then we do have to reincarnate. But the thing is... The cards we actually have to reincarnate for are Eye Armor, Fiend Reflection Number 2, Inexperienced Spy, and Firewing Pegasus. Um, Firewing Pegasus, you can also get from the KTW starter deck, so I probably should have picked that. My logic was to pick this for Goddess of Whim. But... You can actually get Goddess of Whim from Deckmaster S anyway. So, I probably should have had the foresight to do that. It would have saved me one card, but... Firewing Pegasus is only one of four monsters in the game with 41 deck costs that's in the reincarnation pool anyway. So I didn't really think it would be a massive deal. But yeah, um... And also I'm not, again, so Inexperienced Spy probably comes in one of the starter decks, but I'm not going to be starting with any starter decks and then do it. Yeah, because I just basically... I don't know, like, in my head... It's still going to be a pain to get eye armor and stuff, but, you know. And that was the thing, so, I heard, uh, Tagger, I say Tager, but everyone says Tagger, including himself, so. I heard he got stuck on reincarnating Goddess of Whim, and truthfully, you could either start with the deck that gives you Goddess of Whim, and or go to Deckmaster S, and it drops in the slots. And, um... Why not use this rigorous lever? Um... Goddess of Whim is one of, like, 30-plus cards in the reincarnation pool with that deck cost, or 20-plus. Unironically, whereas, like, Firewing Pegasus, there's only four 41 deck cost monsters in the reincarnation pool. Yeah, eye armor is probably the worst. So we'll see. Doesn't actually matter what we got from him. Alright, mandatory reincarnation time. So, we're gonna try to get an eye armor, I guess. We have no choice to get that at some point in the game, so it's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Here comes the pain. I also need to pee, so I'm gonna have to do that at some point. I could theoretically also get the, um... So we'll see if we're actually hitting 16 deck cost. Drilling Wizard is 17, so... If we just reincarnate the Winged Elf, eventually we'll get it, right? I mean, it would be a lot faster with a script, but... I'm too brain dead for that. I was bashed my head against the wall instead. Yeah, the Exodia Summon will be goofy, but there are things you can do. You can... Royal Decree... Rigorous Lever and shit like that. You can Earthshake. Just Earthshaker him, so... Also, at least the emulator on, like, console, you can just instantly reincarnate. So, that saves time. Honeywell. I'll own a... 18 deck cost. 10, 12. As long as I'm getting 16 deck cost monsters, I am happy. Yeah, exactly. 
Also, he has, apart from Magic Jammer, he has no protection from Last Day of Witch. So, you can row Decree and then Last Day of Witch and kill all of his stuff. Ancient Brain. Fiend's Hand. Disc Magician? Deckmaster T would be better. You actually can't access Deckmaster T without like a cheat or something. As I explained, when you put the PSX memory card in the second slot through the emulator, you get Deckmaster I instead. So, emulator, your options are Deckmaster S or Deckmaster I and not Deckmaster T. I don't actually know the exact reincarnation to spread, but I am hitting the 16 deck cost, so. I, yeah, I don't know why either. Obviously, GMS, you would know that way better than I do. I actually have no idea why they do that. One blow is optimal? Alright, I'll have to do that then. Because, look, 15, uh, 17, 19, mystery hand. Okay, let's do that. One below, is that always optimal? Because I keep forgetting, I know you've done the thing about it, but I keep forgetting, you know if you have, like, your deck on C instead of A or B? One below the target puts your target in both ranges? What do you mean exactly? I'm small-brained. Imagine if we got it instantly. <laughs> that would be so funny. Ah, uh, see, there you go, draw bird. So that's 16 deck cost, so that could have actually been an eye armor. There you go. So that's actually closer. Closer, closer, click, click, my blaster jammed. Reincarnation is so slow. Uh, this is the fastest it's gonna get, is the emulator. You try this on a console, man, you're gonna be sad. And oh my god, if you play this on USB on a console, you will cry. It literally takes over a minute before you can reincarnate. If you're doing, uh, if you're playing the game through USB. Trust me, I played Redox on a USB and reincarnation hurt the most. Hinotama. Hinotama just reminds me of when Joey used it, when he was like, Marek's mind puppet or whatever, he uses it against, um, Yugi, when they're doing the duel at the pier or whatever. And it's like, his Hinotama in this game is useless, it's one of the worst cards in the game. And then Joey, he's like, Hinotama, as if he just activated the most brutal card ever, and it's like, dude, this is literally one of the shittest cards in the game. Okay, that makes sense. Two Google. Will we get three? No. Yeah, there are seven de 17 debt cost monsters. We've already got a couple. I forgot which ones, but we already got a few. At least one. 100%. We're still at the base rank, 2LT, so... So with my deck leader being, uh, one star. But you did say, uh, 15 is optimal, right? Huh. 
Higher rank to make it more likely? Well, fuck. Seems like we're getting heaps of low rolls now. I guess that literally is just the mercy of RNG. Looks like we got five, nine, seven. SD deck leader. Holy shit. Well, I don't think we're going to be getting SD in this game. In this. I'm glad I started early because really I knew this was going to take a long time. But we don't have a brutal amount of cards to reincarnate. We literally just need to get four. Major deck leader. Okay. We could probably rank, rank it up now. Honestly. The thing is, I was gonna... Hey, Tio, thank you. Um... Oh, Sunder, what's up? Uh... The thing is, I wasn't gonna rank up until the post-game, because you can edit the map to do that, so I might just, I guess, reincarnate for Firewing Pegasus or something. Or Fiend Reflection, or... No. Inexperienced Spy or Firewing Pegasus, probably. I could do that now. It's not... There's only four 41 deck cost monsters in the reincarnation pool, so... It is awkward, because I have to scroll every time. Look at this. Ugh. Alright. We want one deck cost below, right? What do we have? I really don't want to, like, tear these cards apart. I'm not gonna use these. One below, huh? What do I want to tear up? I will get Solomon's back, but I would like to keep this. We don't really need this. Inexperienced Spy is 35. Um, so doing a spell here might be good. Because it'll drop down from 40 to 35. Yo, Seto, what's up? Real life Seto Kai right here. I'm just going to do Agi Magic Fragrance. I may as well. Tremendous fire. Why don't we just use that to burn people to death? All right, that's that's the strap. Maybe I'll do a few more before I give up. Yeah, the thing is, if I reincarnate a forty deck cost spell, I can get either Firewing Pegasus or Inexperienced Spy. Now the passwords are done. What's a good type sort here? Level sort. Ooh. Hey, it's Skullgun. Hey, it's Great Mammoth of Gold Fine. Hey, it's Spellbinding Circle. Beop, beop. Again, like, literally everything else, like, all the three in a row cards, we can revive from an enemy and use it, so. That's my little... Dissolve Rock and Flame Ghost? Um, they're a password. Yeah. Alright, you know what? We technically me need Mikazuki no Yaiba, so there you go. We got Mikazuki no Yaiba now. Fuck it. I'll just take that. Probably stupid to do this, actually. Yeah, fuck that. I'm actually not going to take that. We can revive that later. 
I may as well get uh, one of these cards out of the way early. Firewing or Inexperienced Spy. Either of these cards, and then we'll move on. I hope I can get it soon, because I... I mean, I can just go to the bathroom now, but I would like to get it and then go to the bathroom, so... Dragon Jungle King. Okay. Alright. Eel Zanky. We're not even getting anywhere close to this, aren't we? Because again, if it rolls a spell, if it rolls a non monster at 39 deck cost or lower. Like, that's either going to be Inexperienced Spy or Magic Jammer. So basically just need to roll at a spell that's below 40 to get that. For a decent chance at it. The most painful part here is literally scrolling down to a card. To reincarnate. There we go! Inexperienced Spy. So that's one. That's... I'm just going to take this, obviously. Ha! Ah, there you go! There you go! We got both of the 35 deck card spells. And a Garvis. There you go. Funny thing is, out of all the four reincarnations, that's literally the easiest of the four to get. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, but that's good because I do want to go to the toilet. So, enjoy the, enjoy the White Rose music while I do that quickly. Be right back. All right, we're back. Um, so no cards to claim from her, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we just need to defeat her. Hmm. See if she'll take the bait on this with it face up. Epic combo of doom. Look at that. Still can't believe this works, but I'm glad it does for the sake of this.
Get in the bin. Easy slate top deck. Are we, um... The only card we really want from my actually, is the Rituals, but we're gonna go ahead and do all that crap later. It's not here, so whatever. What do we want, actually? Uh, that. That's what we want. Monster Reborn is actually very good. Because we can just use that to spam revive stuff. Spam revive. Alright, well, we don't need anything from uh, Marco. We just don't. We can get Megasonic Eye from Joey. Either we revive that or get it in the slots. But for this, do we don't need to worry about that? Yo, Chicken Chakra, how's it going? What's up? Not much, just gaming. Trying to um, get all the cards in this game. I think this is going to take more than five hours, so I plan on streaming for, I don't know, seven hours. I'm hoping to do it within the next seven hours. I actually, I top decked like a speedrun strat here. This is actually ins oh my god, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, that's exactly what I'm doing. And it's not a speed run, it's just a run. It's just a timed run. Yeah, I did all the passwords at the start, so yesterday... I entered in passwords for 5 hours and 20 minutes. And today is all the non-password stuff, so it's actually interesting! So, yeah, you can watch the non-boring stuff. There will be some boring parts, like uh, reincarnating and leveling up, but for the most part, we'll actually be farming people. 3200 attack fiend kraken. Very, very epic, sir. Very nice. We don't need any cards from this apart from Fortress Whales, though, so we're gonna come back later on and farm people with a more rounded deck, you know? Have I tried getting all cards with Bidden Memories? No, I've literally played 15 card once in my life. Oh, what is this? An opportunity for three in a row, is it? It is. Barrel Dragon, we've already got that card, so whatever. You got turned down, well that sucks. Keep applying. Keep applying, hand out your resume to everywhere that's possibly available and see what you get back. Because that's literally what I did and yeah, I heard back from a place after a week. It wasn't exactly the place that I wanted, but it wasn't the worst option either, so... Taking what I can get now. Let's add in a, the Monster Reborn. Yeah, don't give up. Yeah, it's fucked. I heard a lot of, oh, we literally just hired our new crew, and I'm just like, well, fuck. You know, if I was a bit early, maybe it would've got in, but... One of the places I applied to, it was a cafe. Um, and they said they were keen to take me on, but the person, the manager there that I built up a good rapport with was not there. She literally had a surgery for that time, so they didn't even consider me, whereas she could have probably put in a very, very good word for me. Made cafe. <laughs> mm, uh, not quite. Not quite. But I would probably, uh, I don't know. I'd be like, yo, can I wear the female uniform? Why not? I look fucking amazing in that. Feels like you're running out of time, dude. You're not. Like, you know I'm- I'm almost 27. You're not running out of time, you're not. You have so much time. That feeling of running out of time is a good thing. Because ultimately...
That feeling of running out of time is what pressures you to actually keep trying. And it doesn't matter if you miss ASA Summer, because there's an ESA every year. So unless COVID happens again, you're fine. Two Slate Warriors, I know, right? Toughest card to get in the game, uh... We have to reincarnate still to get Eye Armor, Fiend Reflection number 2, and Firewing Pegasus. Eye Armor is probably the most painful out of all those. In all honesty. We have to reincarnate to get that card, there's no other way to get it. And there's a bunch of other cards around that deck cost that we're going to hit instead of that card. So, Eye Armor probably is the most difficult to get. We're going to get that later. So it's good to have motivation to look for a job, because then when you get that job, you are basically just going to kind of... You'll realize that getting a job probably isn't as bullshit as you think it is, and working isn't as bad as you think it is. You'll have more money, and you can save that regardless, and just hold on to it or spend it on something. I honestly didn't work for two years. Ready to die inside? What? Do you mean just the reincarnating of that monster, or is there something I'm missing here? You may as well tell me now what I'm in for. Or are you talking about because I'm starting to work again? Any attempt, does that include, uh, all three? All three rolls, or 1.114 for each single roll. Awesome. Awesome. Well then, what's the probability of, uh, if you have an SD deck leader? Does it even change that much? Also, is 15 deck cost still the best in that case, if you have a very high ranked deck leader, or...? Yeah, exactly, Chicken Chakra. That's how odds work, right? I used to work at a casino. It's all good. Okay. Alright, do you know what my odds are if I have a higher rank? Is it doesn't even make a difference? 1.18. Uh, I, well, that doesn't make me die inside because then I know I don't need to really care. Because that's really not a meaningful difference. I think I'm just going to defeat everyone and then go back and worry about shit later, because then I can rank up. Was this a sub goal? Yes it was. We hit 100 subs, so that's why I'm doing this. Ends up not being beneficial? Yeah, if that's... yeah. That sounds a bit cursed, honestly. Honestly, sounds like cursed as fuck. Oh, look at this fusion. This is so dope, man. This is so fucking dope. Oh, 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 lethal. I'm so pro. Mmm, <sighs> genius. What a draw. This is why we literally put random shit like Griggle in the deck, low deck cost. Yeah, it's Mystical Sand. I was actually thinking of doing a Mystical Sand uh, emote, a lurking one, but I think because the hat won't fit in as well, uh, I probably would do either Dryad or Lady of Faith. That's if I do end up commissioning one. A Jumbo Custom Rose card. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, an Orica of a Rose card would be epic, and you'd order eight of them. But no one really seems to do that. Okay.
Why are you nauseous? Um, no, Fiend Reflection number two. Firewing Pegasus. Yeah. Alright, yeah, um, take some water and sit down. Or lay down and just rest your head. And also consider, um, when you're ready, if you've rested a bit, try and eat something nutritious. If you haven't in a while. Firewing Pegasus, there's only four monsters, I think, in the reincarnation pool at 41. Pfft, what a top deck. More like top keck. Alright, in before he top decks a magic jammer. Yeah, I have a Discord. I love this card, honestly. Roaring Ocean Snake is so dope. See what he's got. Nothing I want. <laughs> oh, I'm just such a great player, aren't I? <laughs> Check his cards to see if he's got anything like relevant. Whatever, it doesn't even fucking matter. I'm just really past the point of caring, like, this guy's just not gonna beat you. That was pretty funny, though. I literally cared so little about what was gonna happen that I just... literally did that. Probably the most genius play that I've ever made. It was just, like, so inconsequential that I didn't even think. We did it anyway. What a surprise. Uh, I don't even think we need to try here really to get anything. No, we really don't. We really don't. He doubt we will survive. Okay, bro. Okay. Alright, Firewing Pegasus time. Reincarnate Firewing Pegasus. Firewing Pegasus. I have to pronounce it like uh, Maximilian Pegasus, you know, even though that is absolutely not how he sounds. Pegasus J. Crawford. Do one dick deck costs lower? What do I get Fiend Reflection 2 right now? Oh, pff, so now we get this card again. Um, there's only a few of them, right? Yeah, because making the pool smaller, like, puts it... That's like 25%. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Get it out of the way. Fuck is an actual forty-one debt cost monster. Ah, uh, dragon. Okay. Umi. <laughs> okay, then great. 
Those odds per shot are pretty good, honestly. Especially compared to what else we're working with here. So may as well do it right now, and then worry about the other ones later. By selecting deck C. Alright, thanks Contessa. Thanks for popping in. Enjoy your dog walking. Have a good time with your dog. What if... Oh, is it? So we just do this. We just do this. Okay. Six percent, not bad. <laughs> so we get a dragon seek, god damn it, fuck. Oh man, that sucks. That could have been it! That literally could have been it. But that's a good sign. At least we're getting close. Also, does it matter if it's C or B? Because I always forget about the difference with that. Firewing Maximilian Pegasus. I was right. Damn it. Well, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna do that when I load back in then and save the game and then try it. It's worth it. Yeah, because isn't C different to A and B? Yeah, but I can just make a deck in C, right? I can just make one now so I can save and I don't have to build on every time. Wait, should I just actually make my deck in C just anyway? Because isn't that useful for all of it? I'm doing this because the next duel is Bakura anyway. Yeah, eye armor is probably the last one I want to worry about, right? Alright, so we save here. And then, so now we do, um... We do Dragon Seeker. Oh, I got so excited there! Did you see the fucking corner of Burning Land, man? That looks so much like it was gonna be Fucking firewing Pegasus. That's like the first time I got trolled by that thing. That actually looked like it was going to be firewing Pegasus because the corner was just flame. Alright. 
Maximilian Firewing Pegasus. Wait a minute, Labyrinth Wall, uh, I actually need that card. Uh, you can get that from Labyrinth so I... Uh, I'm not gonna take that. I kind of forgot you can reincarnate for... I thought you actually had to get that from Lap Ruler. Yeah, I knew that Fiend number two would be shite. Like, the difference between Fiend Reflection number two and Eye Armor would be negligible. Yeah, I probably won't. But just getting these out of the way for peace of mind is good, you know. I don't trust that that anymore until I see the full picture. I don't. It's funny how most of them are lower, but then I got a fucking, like, Skull Knight <laughs> at 49 debt cost, which is like, wow. This mechanic's just great, isn't it? It's actually fantastic. Why couldn't they just add in a booster pack system? I guess that was too complex. Burfame. Barf Vomit. Akihiron. Oh, again, we actually got a 41 deck cost card in the reincarnation pool that wasn't Firewing Pegasus. Uh, that or the Dragon Seeker we got before could have been a Firewing Pegasus, but what can you do about that? Nothing really. Tremendous Firewing Pegasus would have been better. Akihiron again. Solomon's Shitbook. Yep. Definitely not going to be able to do this whole thing within this stream. <laughs> I Realistically, I've got like... Nine more hours, but I really did want to go to bed earlier than normal because I have work coming up Monday through to Thursday. And Tuesday through, to, for whatever reason, I've got a night shift on Monday, and then the Tuesday through to Thursday are all morning shift. I don't know why, but I'm not really in a position to question that. So, whatever. Yeah, you feel slightly less shit because you are laying down, so there's no point stopping now. It happens. It happens. Kyaku Tenno Megami, Soul Hunter, Mountain. Ah, oh, this is just fantastic, isn't it? I'm hoping that for one of the two, we'll get a bit luckier than the other one. We've got two of the four cards, uh, two of the four monsters at 41, and that's very ominous. 
because it really feels like it's now more likely to get a card that we just got than the one we actually want. Dungeon Worm. <laughs> I don't want that card now. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want that card anymore. We're going to see it a lot, I predict. The Inexperienced Spy is such a bad card. It's one of those cards you probably think is very good when you're like playing casually and it's just not. Like a card that actually has impact is way better than a card that gives you information in this game. Way better. It's not even close. Hear me? course it's another one we've gotten every single 41 deck cost monster in the reincarnation pull apart from the one that we want now so you know what that means we're going to get repeats of those before we get the card we want really should have started with a ktw starter deck and then farm goddess of deck master s Ugh. pointless what a waste of time Hmm. Of course, of course, you got to repeat. Of course, back to back, we got a monster of the same deck cost that we didn't want. Really should have seen this coming from a mile away, that we'd get literally every single card but the one we wanted. You guys love this music, right? knew it, man. I knew it. Yes. I knew that wasn't fucking burning land. We got it. We got it. We got it. I actually, uh, probably should play some Immortals in this deck because it's Crushed All right? Got him. Alright, um, what do we actually get rid of here? What's like sucks? There's no benefit to Dexy? Okay. But is there a penalty to Dexy? Because I don't really care to like move everything out, to be honest. Yo, JP, what's up? What is up? How are you going? Welcome to the stream of hell. Enjoy your stay. Exodia or the Insect? Um, the Insect I'm gonna level to Major. I'm definitely gonna do Insect to Major, just because I know that Insects actually have Hidden Card. No, my TNN isn't. Yeah, I'll keep TNN in this one then, and then I'll put my Insect in A. When I get around to it.
Hmm, I could sit here and farm this guy with my soul e eaters to get his, um... War Lion Ritual. Why does deck slot matter? It's just basically the reincarnation is different depending on your deck slot for whatever reason. I don't know why they programmed it that way. I guess it is a bug. Because this game's bug, yeah, like, I don't know, I guess Weevil designed this game. Nine hours, I know, and I feel like I haven't even started, honestly. <laughs> really, like, I genuinely feel like I haven't even begun. No, don't do that. Fucking hell. Uh, I killed my soul eater. I knew this would happen. I knew it. I still have another soul eater in my deck, but pfft, whatever. But yeah, what's up, Ibisu? Hagrid's legacy. Why is it not? It is Hagrid's and not Hogwarts. You made a clown. Oh, so I hope that you saw my Revelio meme. Uh, and I, I posted it in Scarlet's Discord because I thought that was quite funny. I know it's Hogwarts. Not much is having breakfast. What breakfast are you having? I hope it's something really yummy and nutritious. You can you can have both. That's what breakfast is for. You have bacon and egg, and that's nutritious as fuck. What the hell was that? That's the card we want. That's the card we came for. So now we suck all of his monsters. And now we... Look at that! Warline Ritual. Half parts down? What do you mean? The other half is actually getting it from the graveyard slot, right? We're gonna miss it three times, Swatch. Yeah, last one. I mean, while it's here, we may as well try. Otherwise, we'll go back into the duels and then do that. Scottish breakfast. Bacon on toast with square sausage. Fuck yes, dude. I love square sausage. There's one brand here that actually does... Um... Yeah, they call it Scottish-style square sausage, and that literally is like a relic of my childhood. That's literally one of the best things that I ate as a kid that I remember, like, being really genuinely surprised by. Um, I love that. That between an English muffin, holy hell. It is amazing. I keep meaning to buy it again and eat it. But it is not quite as good as I remember, but the recipe for it is good. It wouldn't be exactly what you would expect, obviously. It's never the same. But I think you guys would probably, you know, the Scots would appreciate 
a taste of home if they came here and tried that. Lawn sausage. Yeah, here they call it square sausage. I guess that's to give it some appeal to the non-Scottish crowd to buy it. Because it is literally a Scot... Uh, <laughs> a, a, a sausage that's square. Well, it's like more like a rhombus shape slightly. I don't know. I don't know how it's done. Exactly. If only we got that draw in an actual speed run, that would have been great, but whatever. I'll take it. Got a gold split it. Alright. Well, that's Yugi down. We actually don't have to farm anything from him apart from his rituals. Bossed it with a three in a row, and we got f fucking flame swordsman. Yeah, that is true. We only have one dimension hole, though, so there's that. I have three slate warriors, so yeah. Hey, it balances out, right? <laughs> that could have been the one of the three. Who knows? The ritual is complete! Alright, uh... We've already got Mirror Force, we need to get Ryoku. Ryoku. So, I'll put Mimikat in the deck. I could put Mimikat and Monster Reborns in the deck. Also, we want Kinetic Soldier from this guy. We can always go back and do it, but still, may as well do some stuff now. Mimikat, Ryoku, and then... Uh, Mimikat, Kinetic Soldier, or Monster Reborn. Quiet, mortal. It's time to avenge my brother. Well, fuck your brother. I'm gonna avenge my old card, old card thing. You know, that's English. Wait, that dark piercing light was in Newcomer Sort? Why? I already had one of those. What the hell? I don't get it. Why did it say dark piercing light was new when I only had one copy that I entered ages ago? I'm looking for another card. White hole. White hole. Yo, yo. Fungi of the Elon Musk. Alright, see you later, Soto. Thanks for popping in. Definitely get some sleep. Don't stay up for me, because you're not really going to miss out on too much. Uh, apart from this epic music. So listen to that while I go to the toilet again. I'll be right back.
I was muted. Yo, Banes, what's up? That's what I said. Literally the exact same thing. Uh huh. Okay then. Hmm. Not a Ryoku, that's literally what I'm looking for. Ah, oh, fine, I'll just fucking play this. I mean, yeah, I can always go back in, but I'm kind of surprised he hasn't played Ryoku yet. Kinetic Soldier. Ah, don't do that. Alright, um, good. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Magic Drain! Ugh. I don't care about my summoning power, bro. It's funny how even though it's my card, it blocks both hands because he triggered it. I really don't understand that either. Really genuinely don't understand that. I need Ryoku and Kinetic Soldier. It is Chakra, it's you, oh my god. Um huh. Why did he play on why did he play on this side? Is it cause there's crush here? What the fuck? What the hell? What the actual fuck? Yeah, eat your own card, whatever the fuck that was. Copy at death. It's gonna play literally every card but the cards I want. <laughs> now that I'm doing an all cards run, it's great, it's epic.
Jesus Christ. Yeah, go ahead, play some Redox. Some of these duels are going to be painful, honestly. They're not going to be very fun. Go ahead and play some Redox. It'll make this go a bit faster for you. Pff, he really doesn't have anything that we want. My god. My god. On God, that's what that's what the kids are saying these days, right? I literally just wanted to play Ryoku or Kinetic Soldier. Halfway through his deck and not a single Ryoku, that's great. I don't even know how that's possible, but okay. I don't even know if he has more than one Dark Hole. I'm pretty sure he only has one, right? He could have two, but... I don't think he has three. In before, what was Ryoku? Oh yeah, true. Nah, Royal Decree. I feel like there was literally no possibility of that being Ryoku. I know it, he can play that face down, but he always had monsters to play. He's always had monsters to play, it seems. And there really is, like... Nothing. Wow. Gotta poke him with that so he doesn't OT Chaos when he actually does draw Ryoku. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. Please just use Ryoku. Yes. Yes! Cool. Ryoku! Look at that. We did it guys, we got Ryoku. Now, um, hmm. Yo, Fido, what's up? So, now if he plays it, it's gonna be easier to get, right? Holy shit, that's a powerful monster. Um, so, we'll Grave Rob a Dark Hole. What about me? I'm just trying to get all cards in the game. Trying to get it... Um, we're trying to get Kinetic Soldier right now so we can revive it. Assuming I have another revive card, I'm actually about to bottom... I'm, at a, I'm about to deck out, but with my cards on the field, I can blow them up. What happened to Soul Eater? Um, what happened to Soul Eater is that it absorbs all monsters from either graveyard and gains 
200 points each. So yeah. It's great fun. Millis Radiant. Whoa, what the hell? That monster's huge, I forget. Milus Radiant, man. She's massive. How do I finish him off? Like, I could dark hole him now. This is all the cards that I have to work with, so... What do you mean? I was hoping that he had a kinetic soldier on the field. And that I would dark hole it. But no. He still hasn't played it. And I have no more options, so... I'm just gonna wait till he attacks this and then attack him. With my soul leader. How do I revive it? Well, good point. Let's just end it. Fuck this. I'll worry about Kinetic Soldier when we get back to him. We have done Ryoku though, so that's cool. Whatever. Nice, we bossed it. And we got a summon skull. Nice, we got a summon skull. <sighs> hardest card been so far. Uh... <laughs> well, the hardest card hasn't even come up yet. The hardest gods are going to be the reincarnation ones. Eye armor is going to be very difficult. It's like every time we... Even if we do this optimally... Every time we try to reincarnate for eye armor... We have a 1% chance to get it pretty much. So that's going to be the hardest card. Out of everything. That's really the one thing that I'm not looking forward to. It's not really random. It's because it's reincarnation only, and there's like 20 plus monsters at that deck cost. Does summon Lord Exodia count? Yes, it does, so we have to summon Exodia. We actually have to summon Exodia for this run. And that's not even the hardest thing to do. Yeah, they are. It's funny because on a speedrun, I actually unironically got eye armor. On one of my no password speedruns. Just by randomly reincarnating some card. And that's always the way. And that run died, of course. Yo, Ibisu, you still would have had to because there's no password for Mucus Yoke. The difference is, if you had a pocket station, you can get that card. That's how I got... Mucus York. As a kid, I didn't even know Mucus York was in the game. There's a bunch of cards I didn't know were in the game uh, as a kid, such as um, Wood Clown. I first saw that card in the Japanese version of the game when I played that, like, I don't know, when I played that first time, like, six, seven years ago. 
Mikazoke was the first model you saw, really? I thought it would have been Slate Warrior, because that was one of the old OG passwords, so... Yeah. Dun 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 Didn't use all the passwords. Surely you would try them all at some point, and then once you realize what Slate Warrior is, it's like, holy shit, it sounds so broken. That's one of the more strong ones, I reckon. It's just like, wow, it can beat anything. It can beat anything on Crush. How can anything possibly beat Slate Warrior? I mean, 1900 plus 500 is pretty legit. And I remember, in the manual it does tell you what an Immortal is, and you never, ever, 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 ever will see an Immortal as a kid, apart from that. No, um, I forget, but there's a deck cost threshold. All the low deck cost Immortals, um, change the terrain to crush, and it's still useless. And it's unique to Immortals that it's deck cost based. High deck cost Immortals have summoning cost reduction for Immortals, low deck cost Immortals have terrain change for crush. It always is star except for Immortals. I don't know why it's different, but it is. Because if you try to use stars for Immortals, it actually doesn't make sense. But if you use deck cost, it actually makes perfect sense. It's like 20 and under Immortals have it. And then I think 60 and up have SP recovery instead, or something like that. I know it sounds not very convincing right now, but I verified this with myself years ago. And plus, they are manually entered anyway, so they could have got things wrong. But, yeah. Alright, we'll fuck him for now. We don't need anything from Rex. Alright then. <laughs> Strats! Look at this. Machine and limit removal. As a kid, it's not bad to use those plus 600 boost cards. If you use two or three of them, you have like 3k plus attack. It's quite insane. I don't want to slash my own hand right now. My, uh, my friend, when he entered in his name in the game, he would get... Three decks, one of them was Illusory Gentleman, the other one was Robotic Knight, and I never saw those decks with my own name, so... We played through the game, not the whole game, but we played for hours a night a couple times with those starter decks, which is how I remember them. And I do remember getting to Keith and we're like, oh, we can get all the cool machine cards, but it's like... Keith is actually quite hard with that deck, because he just plays your shit but stronger. He's magic locked. Look at him go. Track it on. In order to be used as a deck leader, a card needs to be at least one rank. That is gameplay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Not exactly very insightful. Oh my god, of course he had to play exactly fucking 2300. Great! 1LT. Oh, that's right, because it's 2LT! And then 1LT. People just assumed that that's what it meant, right? Wait, why didn't he move uh, this way? It's weaker. Because he's got a monster there? I don't know. Fuck it.
Okay. Yerby. Oh, now he's gonna attack me. Directly with, like, a Tomasaurus or some shit. A virus infection. Oh, okay, then do that. Do that, buddy. Uh. Spell cause a zombie. 1300 attack. He should move to his left now, right? Yeah. <sighs> Boom. Boom. Well, that's him out of the way. I don't need to duel him again. He doesn't have any rituals either, so... Fuck that guy. Alright, whatever. I don't really need any cards from him at all. So, smashed there. Moshu moshu. Oh god. So I guess we'll save reincarnation for the post game, even though our chances will be really shitty, but you know. I feel like it honestly, I feel like it's negligible after you have the major, but whatever. In before time seal. Yay! It's not time seal. He has got quite a bit of protection here, so... Nothing. Yeah, you um, actually have to have a low ranked deck leader for Woodland Sprite and... Um, Arsenal bug, because if it's too high, then you're guaranteed to not draw it. Um, so, yeah. Fuck. 
fun. It's literally impossible if your rank is high enough. We want Metal Guardian or Zera Ritual from this guy. They're the two cards of interest. Yes, I need to summon all the rituals. The only other possible way is letting the enemy summon them and then reviving them, but that is just so painfully unlikely, it's ridiculous. Looking least forward to... Um, Ultimate Dragon. Jesus, this guy, can he play something actually, like, fucking not a trap card? Yeah, even like, uh, Sen Genjin, you can actually summon that and Yamadron with, um, insect imitation stuff. Which I'm considering. The problem is I only have... Actually, I think I have two insect imitation. I think I got one from Taya after slashing her hand. So that's kind of funny. That's true. I didn't consider that. You still need to get the card right. Alright, that's a password. I think I probably already got that card. There's a lot of stuff I'm not looking forward to, and I did honestly imagine that I would be able to get this done by tonight's stream, but I don't think that's possible anymore. The way things are going. Yeah, the ones that opponents don't drop have passwords. If you're talking about the mysterious puppet ritual. Or the puppet ritual, that's what it's called. You'd make such a cool deck with it. No, you can't. There's, like, no synergy with that deck whatsoever. It's... You can get creative, but it's not good. It's just not good. It really isn't. Uh... Rigorous... Lever. Should have two in the graveyard now. Oh, that's right. There's no monsters in the graveyard anymore because of Soul Eater. I'm stupid. Epic. I am so smart. No more Rigorous Lever, so I can't even use that. Really? Oh my god. Bone Mouse, go! Because this attacks three traps! Look at that! Look at it! O overpowered. Literally overpowered. Fuck it. I'll just get back to this guy later. And I have like a post-game farming deck. If he doesn't want to top deck this stuff, I'm not going to fuss over it right now. I really should get a third Rigorous Lever. But I can get that a bit easier in the post-duel thing. It's so cursed to see Yami in his slots because that card is so hard to get him to play if you don't use Rigorous Lever to dump it from his hand. 
It's so difficult. I don't know the chances. It's ridiculously low for him to actually play Yami when you're playing against him if you want to farm that card. It's insane. Alright, so Keith, we want a slot machine and a machine king. At least slot machine is his deck leader, so we don't need to fuss about that. If he plays Machine King, we're in business. We'll worry about getting the Machine King as a priority over that. Better to reincarnate for Yami. It's better to just enter the password. And then go to Deckmast K. Oh, for that. Pot the trick. Pot the trick. Fuck it, we'll play this. Get rid of that fucking Shovel Crusher. Not just a Shovel Crusher, a fucking Shovel Crusher, because I don't care about that card. Ground Attack of Bugroth. As a kid, I used to think that was Burgoth. I don't know what the hell a Bugroth is, honestly, so... What is a Bugroth, really? They just made that word up, didn't they? Whoa, look out! It's a fucking patrol robo. OG game with Mooga Mooga or some shit, but... You also don't need any spells from this guy, so I don't need to play Soul Leader, like, at all. As in, use its effect. No, none of the cards he wanted were there. None of the cards he wanted were actually there. I'll never get bored of this goddamn sound effect, though. Like, what is that supposed to be? What actually is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be Rigorous Lever's voice or something? Oh, he's gonna play another one of these. What the hell? Alright, well, whatever. It's fine. Now we can just revive Rigorous Lever. And slash his hand again, and then draw our hand and attack him. See what he's got. Nothing again. Slot machine. We'll just attack him here. Oh no, we'll give him one more chance, I guess. May as well if you got the rigorous lever right there. Still nothing. We've deleted half of his deck and nothing. We'll just have to try to get a slot machine. May as well, because we could realistically duel this guy and miss him, miss a slot machine a bunch of times, so. I'm looking for Machine King. Machine King. Machine King. Yeah. Oh, we got slot machine at least, so we can cross that off the list. Uh, 
Earthshaker. Earthshaker, please. Uh, why don't we try to fluke this... Mystery hand, where are you? Just go for the fluke, I don't actually care what we get here. We reincarnate after that we beat everyone. Um, extra dark piercing light isn't bad, I guess. All things considered. We can just see the shit, like... What do you want to add though, Earthshaker? Earthshaker. Add a lab breakers, I guess. Machines. Yiber Robo, Patrol Robo, uh, Dharma Cannon. Let's make sure I should try deck isn't, uh, deck cost isn't too high. I'll take out that. Um, Labyrinth Wall. You can still reincarnate to get Labyrinth Wall, but you can get it from this guy, so. Saves us going back to him, and also, I guess, Gate Guardian Ritual, so against this guy, I can use my Soul Leader. And just get rid of all of his cards. From the graveyard. Nice. Jirai Gumo. I've top deck all my useful cards, so I think I'll actually play these face down. Before I move up. Yup, yup. Shift. Okay. Well, nice job, buddy. I have another Soul Eater or two in the deck, so I probably could just play this heal. I want to play behind me though, so I can slash the hand and then keep reviving it. I literally have... Three revival cards I could just start slashing his hand. Playing my Soul Eater now sounds good though. Alright, good. I'm happy with that. Because every time he draws a card, I will slash him. There's a Labyrinth Wall. That's the card I want. Wait till he's got Gate Guardian Ritual.
Whoa, look the fuck out. That's the first time I think I've ever seen him manually flip that up. Maybe that's not true, but... Maybe, like, the second time. Whoa! Whoa, alright, um... That's crazy. Here's a gate guardian ritual. I'm gonna defend with Soul Leader, and then I'll rigorous lever on my next turn and then attack him. I don't know if it'll be lethal or not. I don't think it will be, but. We don't even need to send anything else to the graveyard. I don't even need to flip that up, honestly. Get rid of this first. Whatever. We can just lock him here then. Alright, so when we lethal him, we want lab wall spell card and then we want the gate guardian ritual. Fuck it. Let's end the duel there. Alright. Promotion! Slate Warrior got a promotion, guys. Holy shit. Nice. We got the Gate Guardian Ritual. Now we just want the Lab Wall. Fuck. One short of the double. Nice! Ah, oh, yes. Skate guarding ritual and labyrinth wall in the same duel. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um. So, what's that? Gate guarding ritual. And then we got labyrinth wall. Woohoo! We don't actually need to go back to that guy then. That's good. We actually do not need to go back to that guy. I'm pretty sure. So you're the famed rose duelist, as he would say. Um, so apart from the rituals from this guy, you need a uh, stuffed animal. From Firewing Pegasus, that's his name now. I made it official. Dark Piercing Light, probably going to help out a lot. So I may as well put it there now. 
light piercing dark. That's how that works, right? <clears throat> Change slime. Yeah, why not? Why not? Alright, so I actually want to revive that so he doesn't play it. Otherwise, he's gonna burn me to death because I don't have any life point recovery cards. Oh shit, I was supposed to play Karibo there. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, otherwise, he'll revive it with Mimi Cat and start burning me to death, so. Alright, we got fucking Mooka Mooka, so I may as well start dumping monsters. I know Rigorous Lever does that for us, but we haven't drawn that yet. Tremendous fire rhymes with invisible wire. I never even thought about that before. Yeah, we're actually playing the goddamn game, and it's uh, more painful than I thought it would be. Really not accomplished too much, honestly. Really not accomplishing much. I know I'm defending with stuff. He doesn't have Gorgon's Eye and Mirror Force. So there's really no reason to defend with the spells at the back. Anyway, how are you, Spartan? I hope you're doing well. Um... <clears throat> We want this guy's ritual cards, but also a stuffed animal. We also can, um... Do I finish FM? Yeah, all the FM playthroughs on YouTube. We also can get rid of cards that we don't want to appear in the graveyard slots. I'm pretty sure when we, when it, now that it's ours, if he triggers it, it'll go into our graveyard, not his. See if he's top deck anything we want, because then we can just quickly snag that and get out. Ah, oh, cool. That's good, actually. Um... I'll bait his guy. Just want this stuffed animal, honestly. So they'll attack me and trigger the trap, and then we attack that card. There you go, look at that. Like clockwork. It, it plays the same sound twice, so it sounds like forceful. Forceful like a sentry. You know, forceful sentry. Yeah. That's all she wrote. I use PCSX2. That is the emulator that I use. 
PC SX2. And that is pretty much the only good PS2 emulator. That's the one everyone uses. Do I have 1.7? I think so. I don't know, actually. Let's see. No, 1.6. Nice, I got it first try! Uh, it doesn't matter what else we get, because there's no other cards that I want here. So we get stuffed animal, that's nice. Don't have to worry about And then more. That's actually very handy, because then when we go back into him, we can farm him with uh, Soul Eater. Faster beer for casual gaming. I don't know if it would fix the bug in this game, the camera bug. This game's like, fine. So I've never really had a reason to upgrade, honestly. Yep, 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 yep. That's right. You gotta do something about that. Fix a lot of bugs. No one in the Dota community, the Dota community, has really said anything about this game, though, so. Don't need Earthshaker anymore. Copycat? Not really. Cannon Soldier, no. We need a... Alright, Dharma Cannon. I guess I could give it a try. I just... No one's actually told me about it, and I feel like uh, Hippo would have told me straight away if 1.7 actually fixed it. And I, someone at some point in the community would know about that if it actually changed anything, so I've not bothered. This is the only game that I actually play on emulator, honestly. The only other game I would emulate on, like, would probably be Deadlocked. Because I don't think I'm going to, like, buy the HD PS3 version of that game, so. TBH. Ah, uh, read like a book. Now she plays it to the right, and then I move my card to the to the right, and then play over it, and yeah, do that shit. Nothing we wanted to see there. Uh, the only card we actually want from her is... The Crab Turtle Ritual. Turtle Oath, that's what it's called. Good job, AI. Freaking dumbass. Good job. Alright, so, I don't know, maybe she drew it here. But it's worth just doing this one more slash. Revive this. And then when we attack her, it'll clear both hands again. Also, I remember ages ago, Ratchet and Clank had a really bad bug, like texture bug. But I think there was a setting that outright fixed that completely. It was just like a an option that fixed all the textures. Also, I do have the Sly HD Trilogy on PS3, so if I ever plan on playing those games, then I will absolutely be playing it on that. No Crab Turtle Oath, so fuck it. We'll just play on and then when we beat the game, we'll go back and sort shit out. What do we need from this guy? Uh, man eat a bug and larvae moth? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already played larvae moth. When our guy, our pugum died, our lava of moth died, so I just try a man eat a bug.
Aw, oh, man, I don't want to slash that card at fucking hell. This is such a combo. White Hole and Dark Hole is the most epic combo in the game. He's going to attack us directly, though, but it's fine. It will be no more than 2,500. There you go, 2,300. Can I beat the GTA SA 100% speedrun? I have never even really played that game, to be honest. Like, I know that might surprise some people, but I've literally never played GTA San Andreas or Vice City. The only GTA that I played was GTA 4. Alright, we can start setting this up. I still need to play Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Yeah, I still need to play Pug'em. Uh-oh. It really doesn't matter. So I wait for him to have the upgraded, the pupa of Moth, and then nuke his field and then revive that, and then I play Pug'em. I do have the actual cards to play that, but I can just do it this way, so... I may as well if he's already played it. Sounds like a voice-filtered Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. What does that last name even mean? Because Schwarz... Schwartz is black, right? Like, as in... Like... Schwarzschild radius. Like, what does that mean? Literally, what does that mean? I don't even know. God, he's got so much garbage. Something with dirt. Maybe it's like dark dirt or black dirt. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just know that Schwarz is... Schwarz is... Black, right? Right? I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So I'll show you what we do now, right? So that's Pupa of Moth. So. We kill it. And then we can revive it with a Monster Reborn. What a, what a revival sound. So we do that. We can also revive the Dark Hole again. Or we can do Monster Reborn and slash his hand again. Whatever. Same shit.
There we go, and now we played Perfectly Ultimate Grey Moth. Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes. Crossed you off the list. Negate attack. I'm attacking with this because, I don't know, if he top decks some ridiculously high attack card and crashes into this, we don't lose. There you go. We don't lose life points, so... See? That literally would have killed me if this card didn't have the effect to not lose life points when it takes damage. Where we at? Um, Lab Ruler, I got both Labyrinth Wall. Ooh, there's a ritual. I got both Gate Guarding Ritual and Labyrinth Wall from that one duel. So I don't actually need to go back to Lab Ruler again, period, I'm pretty sure. Apart from that, really nothing interesting happened. But that was nice. All right, then. All right, then, buddy. I like a Soul Eater because I don't want any of his monsters. I got Pug'em. I played Pug'em. I just want his revive, um, the thing. Yeah, cool. All right, awesome. Um, I'm just going to make sure that uh, this card doesn't die. It's actually kind of important, and then I could lethal him, I'm pretty sure. Um, we're safe from lethal because we're on crush. Absorb all of his monsters, and then it's, uh, if we look at his thing, he's got, look, Javelin Beetle Pack. That's the card we want. So we got Pug'em from him because he played Cocoon, and I waited until Lava of Moth to Dark Hole him, and then revive that, and then flip that face-up defense mode on one turn, I got Pug'em. Even though we have the cards for that, that's just, because he played it, I may as well do that. Hey, we got Thunder Onion promoted, look at that. Hunt the Revival, the Javelin Beetle Pact. Nice! First try. Yo, Patty, what's up? Not bad! Uh, how are you? This is a solemn undertaking, and I do eventually need a, a dinner break. I don't actually know when I'm going to do that. It can't be too late. Sometime within the next three hours. I don't actually know how long this is going to take, you know. I was like, who haven't I beaten? It's funny how it literally takes me up here as if I'm supposed to go this way, but I've beaten all this... Everyone except Necromancer. Really bad night, but it's now a bit better. Good. Good that it's better. Oh, that's right. He's still sick. It's unfortunate. Hopefully get better soon, man. Because, holy shit, it's going to be a long one, this one. It's gonna be a long one. Hopefully you get- you feel better over the course of the stream if you've come to hang out and kill some time. Basically gonna beat the game then go into custom duel and do some other stuff. Try to forge out a farming deck. I'm excited for the YouTube comments, they'd be like, oh, I know why you used Immortals, it's because they're overpowered, and it's like, well... It's literally because of Rigorous Lever and Soul Leader. They're just farming tools.
That was the most epic dark hole activation I've ever seen, by the way. I freaking knew that was gonna happen. I mean, I didn't, but it's... Of course, when you top deck a white hole, of course they're gonna top deck his dark hole. Dark hole! Literally outplayed. He can't even destroy my trap card. It's just there forever now. Yeah, I'm trying to keep myself entertained, can't you tell? Alright, what do we got here? Dark Piercing Light. This is also definitely a Soul Eater duel, because we only really want Revival of Dokororaida from him. It's always so easy to forget this guy is like Monster Reborn and stuff, because you just freaking never see him play it, honestly. When he plays it, it's like a massive shock. Massive shock. Oh, well. It's 1500 attack on Crush! What is it doing? <coughs> <coughs> we broke the game. Uh, it'll die. It should die at the end of this turn. Thanks, Nick. Seems good. Thanks for the good luck. There you go, it died. What if I stand here and he starts moving his cards onto Crush? That would be hilarious, honestly. Obviously, he can attack with a card lower than 1500, but, you know. go, that's nice. I didn't even need to play any more cards, I, I just, I just kind of need to chew to my soul leader. Um, to chew up all of his monsters and then get that Dokoro Rider. Now his wood remains is gonna die, watch. Excellent. I approve. What the hell is that? Uh, here we go, cool. Alright, um... Definitely want to use this. <laughs> no, I wanted those cards. Ah! Ah! Alright then. I'm stupid. Um, I guess dark hole. I don't know. 
He sucked all the monsters out, so... Um... I don't want to get lethaled by this guy. I don't know what the hell that is, honestly. I really... I, I just doubt that I'm going to actually get lethal by that. Because this guy is one... Of, it's like the only AI that actually attacks you on Crush because he just doesn't give a fuck. Or not, he's gonna attack that instead. Well, okay. Alright then. Virus infection. Great. Uh, I don't know what this card is. I don't want it to be here anymore. Maybe I should have attacked him before I did that, but... I had to move that card out of the way to do that. I should have checked my hand. Actually... It was a Skull Servant? Oh my god. I'll revive that so it's not in his graveyard and attack him with it. I think that's the play. Yeah. Nice. Look at this, 1100 damage on the, the Wasteland, and we need one more attack, and we're good. And if we stand on the Crush, we can't possibly die here, right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Cool. Yay. Alright, we only need the Dokoro Rider Ritual. That's the only card we need from him. Destiny draws Carrot Idol somehow, yeah, of course. Of course. Fuck. Yes! Oh yes, thank fucking god. Third time is a charm. Because it's like, if you miss that, and then you have to go into the duel and do all that again, and it's like at the bottom of his deck, it's really shit. Genuinely ultra shit. Ultra shit. I gotta go to the toilet again. We built this city. That song sucks. How do you even get Arsenal Bug? You have to Destiny draw it with an Insect Deck Leader.
If you're talking about uh, Redux, I don't want to spoil it for you. Ah, mail. Okay. I'll mail you. Sniped. 360 quick scoped. Uh... Nice. Nice. Break pair. Great sound effect. We want revival of Senen Genjin from this guy. That's the only card we actually care about. I need to consider also taking a dinner break. There's your ATH. Oh, welcome back, Contessa. I hope you had a good walk. Welcome back. How's it been? A good question. This is definitely uh, taking longer than I originally thought. And I kind of figured that out in the first few hours of playing, but... Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's hard to really quantize how if we're getting closer or not. It really is. Oh, shit. Um, but it's probably going to take more than tonight to do it, unfortunately. I'm doing my best, though. I'm not ultra tryharding. I'm trying to remain sane while doing this. Uh, I'm having fun, so it's like, why ruin it, you know? Why ruin the vibe, you know? So, yeah. I don't need any monsters from him. I only need Revival of Sen and Genjin. Of course this freaking happened, man. I knew it. I got a Soul Eater behind me, so it's fine. But basically, I play Soul Eater face-up defense mode to clear all the monsters from the graveyard. This is one way to get rid of it. Um, yeah, at some point between now and midnight, which is like three hours away from me, I'm gonna have to sort out food, and then I'll keep playing. Um, the thing about... Alright, ret I return to work tomorrow. So, that shift is uh, 5 p.m. till 10 p.m., so it's fine. I can stay up late, but the shifts after that are all, like, morning shifts. Like, you know, so... Um, I kind of wanted to go to bed a bit earlier than normal tonight, because then it's easier the next day to go to bed even earlier. As long as I wake up and show up, I think I'll be fine. There we go. There we go. I don't need any of these other cards in my hand, so... There you go! Nice! That's literally the card we wanted, so now we can start doing this. We just want that Revival of Sen and Genjin from this guy, and that's... I'm pretty sure that's the only card we actually need from this guy. I'm gonna have to duel him again. Uh, assuming we get that card. We'll just Dark Piercing Light, just to double-check what his cards are. 
In case there's like an ATH to his top left. No, alright. Those monsters he just fused into the graveyard will also get sucked up by the soul leader, so... We have three chances to hit that revival sending engine. Hopefully we get it. Oh, we'll have to come back and get it. Hey, Rigorous Leader got promoted. That's actually a good thing, because we can get another copy of that a lot easier. Nice. First try. Woohoo! That's a relief. We have got four of the rituals that we have to get from opponents, so that's good. Like, and the ones that we got are, we don't actually have to go back. Do not revive Sengenjin. We have to! We have to get all cards! We have to, man. I have no choice. A new one into existence, uh, what with Monster Eye and Insect Imitation? I could. But no, I got the card, I may as well do it normally. Um, pfft. Monster Egg? Did I, what, did I say Monster Eye? What did I say? Ah. Hey, it's spherical enough, right, give me that. All right, we need um, Sky Dragon and Anti-Rag from this guy. So let's hope he top decks a Sky Dragon. I actually kind of want to play a card face down in the middle. I mean, you don't need to to get him to play it if he top decks it, but... A Slate Warrior face down, that will kill it. When he plays it forward. Alright then, fine. So that's a weak piece of crap. It won't be Sky Dragon. Why did I dump my cards and I'm gonna rigorous leave him anyway? <laughs> That'll do that for me. What are you going to do now? What's this? Is this Sky Dragon? Yeah, it is! <laughs> okay, then. Alright, I'll take it. Sky Dragon! Woohoo! Now we actually need to get it in the graveyard slots. That's such a funny top deck. After we slashed his hand, that is what he top decked. Highest attack card in his hand that he could play right after that. I can't lethal him here because, uh, what if I do this? Oh, he's gonna move on to the crush if I do this, right? Yeah. Look at him go!
All right. Um. Theoretically, I could revive Sky Dragon after I've killed it, rather than getting a copy of it. But I'm not going to revive it on the crush, in case that actually doesn't register. I don't know. I doubt it. But. That's the card we won! Are you just gonna destiny draw now? Oh, he's not even gonna play it, of course, because he's dumb. Alright, you do that. You do that. that. See what that does for you, buddy. See what that does for you. I tell you what it does, literally freaking nothing. Alright, so... Sky Dragon, huh? Let's try and get this Sky Dragon. Yes! I knew that would work. They're all clustered together, so I hit them at the same time. Yes! Nice strat. Alright, we're getting closer and closer and closer. Closer to the edge. And now he's gonna sell us some swamp land on the outer realms or whatever. Cool. Now he's working in real estate, so that's nice. The Stern Mystic. Alright, what do we need from this guy? Like, Widespread Ruin, Diane Keto. I think that's it. Skull Knight. Well, he doesn't drop that, but he plays it. And he's got ritual cards too, so... Mm. Nice! This guy shouldn't be too difficult to farm, right? What's up, Emma? We need to calculate... Calculatedly kick his ass. Gravity bind. Don't need a. Don't need that card. What I will do though is slash his hand. Slash. All right. Nothing in his hand was relevant to us. How's work going, by the way? Oh, oh. Hold on. Perfect. We'll slash his hand again. See what that does. It's a mirror force! Whatever. Whatever. Busy and you hate it. Hell yeah. Is it going fast at least? I'm gonna have to get used to the busy work life starting from tomorrow, so that's epic. Uh, <laughs> I just want to destroy this guy. Three hours to your close. Nice. It's a home stretch already. Home stretch.
He's really not playing anything we want, unfortunately. He's got a trap to his left, probably, but yeah. There's the widespread. We can revive that, I guess. If we have a revival card, we need to kind of draw that, you know, so. Perfect. Thick spread ruin. Widespread ruin. Oh, yeah. Shit spread ruin. Yeah, that's gross. I apologize for that. What is this Raigeki? Like, literally, what is this? In what fucking world did he think that was a good idea? Oh, okay, then. I didn't want to move that card anyway. I wanted to protect it from Mirror Force. Uh, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to finish the duel right now. Yo, Dot Hack, what's up? I only noticed your profile on your Nitro profile. You got a hell decked out Discord profile. It's, it's cool. You gotta respect that shit. It's all about the anime aesthetic, right? Oh, we beat the game! Yay, now we just need to still collect like 100 cards. Um. I have a feeling Solomon's Law because of play. Well, now I may as well go for a three in a row, right? Fuck. I got baited into the fake trap failure. That's nice. That's a nice. Alright, we beat the game. So now we need to bear, like go back in and do everything. If ever you just from a mobile game you play. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like, I don't know, to be from Nier Automata or something. So, yeah. We need to rank some stuff up. That's probably what I'm going to do now, because then everything after that... It makes sense to do basically everything after we've ranked up a deck leader. And it made sense to finish the game to unlock the, um... The, uh, map editor. So that... We can rank up better. So while this is playing, I'm going to turn on the air fry and put some leftover chicken wings in there. And then I'm going to be eating that while leveling up. So bear with me. I'll be back.
unironically putting on an old sweater uh, to eat when I eat, inevitably. All right. All right, see you later, Emma. Okay. That is sound glitch, which is a, which is a bad sign. So we're going to have to restart this. Run invalidated, everyone. It doesn't matter. It's not an official run. Yeah, they were. Usually they're missing entirely when it has sound glitch. Usually they're actually... the crest the crystals are not there. Period. Alright, um... Edit map time. Wait a minute, because we scroll from the bottom we should be doing this, right? Also, um, gotta eject this deck master eye thing. There we go, memory cards, and eject the second one. There we go. So let's try and get Rageki quickly. You can revive that, but whatever. Probably should just revive this, honestly. I'll just try it once, fuck it. And then I'll, I'll just rank up. If we don't get it, I don't really care. Yeah, way off. I honestly should just revive the three in a row stuff. It's way easier to get them that way. In the meantime, I'm going to build a deck. Um... So what do you actually want to accomplish here? I want to get a third rigorous lever first of all. Before I even do anything else, I just want to get a third rigorous lever. Then we want to designate some cards to level up. We do a plan, actually. Alright. Oh, fuck. Nice. Cool. Alright, so... I'm gonna do... We'll do Queen of Autumn Leaves. It's plan, it's earth.
easy to fuse and level up. Clutch the last round. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm really like... You use the first two to kind of gauge what the third one's going to be like most of the time. That's kind of why it's happening, coincidentally, a lot. Um, Alright, so we're going to level up some stuff now. How many females? Uh, the most common would be fairies. Want four star ones so we don't open up and brick. There's a bunch of female aquas as well. Three more females. Warriors. Female warriors. Single female warrior. Having lots of sex. You guys remember Futurama? Yeah. That's what it's a reference to. Just in case that sounded really out of character. Okay. So I want to level up Queen of Autumn Leaves until Major. And then that's our hidden card. Find target. And then once my food dings, I am going to disable my camera and microphone and then eat as I level up. Because this is going to take a while. But we actually, we need Hidden Card. We literally need it. So enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. Hey Danny. How's the run going? Good question. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But we're still alive. It might actually unironically take more than this second session to finish off. We'll see how this goes. We are getting closer, it's just I'm really not... Yeah, I just decided then because... I did say Insect before, but this is going to be faster. I just want, basically, I want it to be Earth and I want it to be... Uh, a plant also has hidden cards, so I may as well just do this instead. What insect am I doing? I don't know, an insect that I have two copies of. That makes sense, right? I probably should stick one in the deck, but I can after a couple levels of this, I think. Anyway. I can, I guess. I'll do one of these, or a few of these rounds. I'll get it to Captain, I think. And then I'll swap it out and do that. If 4 is here, here comes a time loss. Ready? Here comes a time loss. No, 4's not here. It's still going to take 3, 4 duels. Even if I'm doing this. So yeah. I was also considering leveling up Illusionist Faceless Mage to get the 3 in a row for brain control. But you can revive that or... It's a very easy hidden card, and we have to get hidden card anyway, so I'm just going to probably get it that way. You can also, yeah, revive it from... Um... Peggy. I should have bound start to one of the normal keys so I could use turbo. Uh, no, one of the normal buttons, like the action buttons, but... It's annoying to get used to that and then turn it off, it really is. 
I wish they would just let you. Why do controllers not let you turbo the start button? I do not understand that. I don't get it. Do they really just not bother because they think you're not going to do that? Is that why? Anyway, I've got wings in the air fryer, so when they are ready, I'm going to disable the camera and microphone and eat them while I level up. Try to eat them with one hand so I don't get grease everywhere. Oh, isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? If you guys can't tell, this is why leveling is so much faster in Redux. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I actually had someone tell me that the the leveling was too fast in Redux. I'm like, okay, don't purposely grind then, and then it's like normal. <laughs> Whatever insect I'll do, I guess... Because I only need one level on Exodia head. But the Earth insect, I need at least two, right? I need one LT to Destiny Draw, not two LT. If it's an Earth monster. Yeah, thought so. So... Ideally, I put Exodia, and then I have... I'm hoping that... I have double ups of an Earth Insect, and I will just level that up, because it doesn't matter apart from that. Now just give me a bit of a head start. Also, by the way, uh, I got a sound glitch. If you missed it. After um, the credits... And then it started playing the um, the intro movie from the main menu, and I got sound glitch when I press start or X or whatever. So yeah, run invalidated, right? I don't give a fuck. I just restarted the emulator. I really don't care. There are no rules here. The only rule I'm setting is to not cheese the entire game by using a cheating device, because that literally trivializes the entire point of the run. And obviously no uh, fast-forwarding, save-stating for rolling and stuff like that. Damn it, I got a freaking Gmail thing, and it's not what I want it to be. I got sent a coupon from an X Fiverr order on an avatar, which is good. Not avatar, sorry, but I gotta sort that out. I really do. Uh, because the problem is... Okay, so I did a Fiverr, or this is my Fiverr story. I did a Fiverr order that was $19 Australian. And then it was good, so I went to order another one, and then it was like, the price is 38 So I'm like, okay, it must, for whatever reason, count the total of the first order and the second order. So I'm like, whatever, because I literally clicked just one more order. I literally clicked on the thing that charged 19 or whatever. It was 15 before, whatever. And then it charged me another $38 when I just wanted one more order. And I literally have no fucking idea how that works. But I gotta get a refund for that. 
And the guy sent me a coupon, so I'll get a refund for this and then I'll submit a normal one again and then use that coupon. It would really keep me going if all this shit got sorted within the next few days. It would give me something excited, uh, to keep me excited to get home to, like, from work. Well, work will pass the time while I wait for that stuff, because it sucks, like, waking up to nothing when you're really excited about something. Also, I've actually, uh, I kind of forgotten... Arsenal bug... I know you need an insect deck leader, but I actually forgot the requirements other than that. Woodland Sprite, I remember they need to have three fiends, and one of them needs to have the highest attack on the field, and I think the highest attack one needs to be, like, within attacking range of your deck leader or something like that. I think I remember that one. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Wooden Sprite, though? Wooden Sprite is the three fiends, right? Because you can do these with the same deck, technically. Just change the deck leader, right? I think you can use the same deck. You just add, like, 3,000 to 4,000 attack fiends or something. Like... Just cards like Zoa and the Summon Skull and stuff. Um... Need Exodia Head. There we go. Alright. And then we want type and then debt cost. Insects. Oh, please tell me we have like two of an insect that I can. that's like a good option. Kill a needle. Oh, that's wind! I don't want a wind one, I want an earth. Oh, minor. Minor! Hello. Minor is going to be our um, deck leader, and that shouldn't cause any problems, right? It's Earth. I don't think three stars actually matters. Yeah, because Spike Snail is dark, right? Alright, I'll set this up, and then I'll go get my food, and then come back and press start a bunch of times. That's going to be great fun. Trying to eat wings with one hand, I can't believe I'm actually going to be doing this shit. I need to, like, break them up first or something. What cards need all this convoluted shit? What do you mean, convoluted shit? Are you talking about what we're typing? The Destiny Draw cards. Basically, for Woodland Sprite and Arsenal Bug, you have to Destiny Draw them. Yeah, um, because they have requirements of how you destiny draw those cards, and they're literally the only way to play them, so... So 
So they're some of the most annoying things to do. You can do it in the custom duel, you just can't do it in two-player mode. Queen of Autumn Leaves is going to lose XP from being dumped. It's a really stupid mechanic. How do you trigger a Destiny draw? You need to have life points below 1,000, and your monster needs to be a high enough level. To trigger a Destiny draw, and that also depends on its um, attribute. So, if you have a dark or light, and there's one more one I forget, I don't know if it's wind... Oh, no, it's fire. Dark, light, or fire. Fusing additional ones help? No, I just... When you have 50-50, you can't really break it up, so... Like, in this situation, now I can, but... Yeah. Trying to fuse as little of them as possible, but you can't really do much about that. This is why you give them the old boost. It is captain, so there you go. Now these are going to be ranking equally. Which, this only needs to be 2LT. Um, okay. Um, alright, I'm going to get my wings from the air fryer. I, they should be ready. Yep, yeah, sorry, I keep... Again, I did confuse 2LT for the 2-star rank, so that's... You know what I mean. Yeah, you literally need uh, your deck leader to be Exodia, and then play the four limbs face up to summon Exodia in this game. Alright, um, I'm muting because I'm eating, so yeah, I will still be here.
I'm gonna clean up, um, wash my hands and stuff, and put my plate away, and then I'll be back to finish this leveling up shit.
Alright. Sorry, I took longer than expected. Um, my uh, dog wanted some pats and belly rubs. Anyways, I'm back now with... Uh, take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. What I'm back with. I'm back with... Alternate unlockable hairstyle Clovis. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't even look that good. Fuck it. <sighs> this is the most fun part of the run, guys, right? Right? So after we do this leveling up, probably can, um... Try these, uh, Destiny draws before we even do anything else. We've still got quite a bit of work to do. Good few dozen cards still. And again, the most worrying ones are the reincarnation ones. They're going to be some true barriers. Once we get these destiny draws out of the way, I do uh, want to basically reincarnate one of the cards, then do like everything else, and then go back and reincarnate the last one. Because there will be, obviously we have to do some duels. So we may as well reincarnate before those duels. Do all those duels and then reincarnate the last card. So. Anyone still awake? Who's still awake? I honestly, like, would love some more coffee. But, I do kind of want to go to bed pretty much as soon as this is over. Assuming I get this done tonight. Ideally, it would only take me like four more hours. If it takes any longer than that, that's a bit scary. But I don't really want to go for any more than like six. I think that's when it's going to be like the cutoff. Because that'll be like after 4 a.m. Four in the morning for me, so... Oh, we still have people alive! Riveting gameplay, I know, right? I know. It's so intense. How was my food? It was good. I had leftover chicken wings from KFC. There was one normal one and three hot and spicy. Hot and spicy isn't even spicy, it's just a different coating, really. There's still one piece after that left. There's a rib piece. I don't know, I'll probably have that tomorrow with some, like, leftover broccoli and fried rice or something for lunch.
because then I've got work tomorrow night. So it feels so weird to say that, honestly. Literally haven't worked in over two years. Fucking mind blown. I literally worked seven years straight at night shift and then didn't work for two years. Time to get back on the grind, I say. Also, it's handy. Twitch finally paid me out. Um, which is good because after I dumped a bunch of money into the uh, emotes, it was kind of needed as a reimbursement because I got paid like the day before I went out with a friend to get a burger and a few beers. That was last Friday. Scammered eggs with cheese sounds delicious. Isn't that more like an omelette? If it's cheese with eggs? I guess not. If it's scrambled. But yeah. I hope I have a good shift tomorrow to Contessa. I think, I feel like... It probably is going to be easier than I expect, like, in terms of everything but the actual... I think it'll actually be busier than I expect, because it's a Monday night. Exodi promotion, Minor promotion, nice. Earth insect. Okay. So we got those sorted. I shouldn't really overthink this. We just need to level up the thing now. The thing. We just need one more level on Queen of Autumn Leaves. Um, it's a five hour shift. It's 5pm until 10pm. And then I pretty much have to go to bed straight after that because the next few mornings, is, uh, the next few days is morning shift, three days in a row. And then I have an operation on Friday and the weekend off. And then after that, I'm not 100% sure, so... I'm not gonna lie, this next coming up week, I'm a bit nervous, but... Oh well. I am quite nervous for this upcoming week, and I'm hoping to stream after my uh, shifts. Not, I'm not on the night of Monday. I won't be streaming tomorrow because I'll be getting back and going straight to bed pretty much. Like by the time I get back, it'll be like after 10:30 p.m. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. It just is still, you know, understandably you're nervous because you... If it really feels like going in the deep end, I feel, I've lived so comfortably for so long and now I'm like, oh shit, you know. I think I, I'm definitely... Nothing's really, like, what can go wrong, you know? I keep telling myself that the worst case scenario is like, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking, like, die, you know? It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. Just I haven't really been in an environment with pressure for like years. So it's going to be interesting, honestly. And the operation, I mean... It's not like a really crazy life-threatening operation or anything like that, but I've not actually had an operation. Like, I've no never been like... They've never like, you know, put me under before and... Actually, they don't even do that. They sedate you. And I hate needles. Um, you can laugh all you want. I really don't like needles. I'm just gonna tell myself it's gonna be fine just thinking about it. Uh, I try not to think about it and then some... It just kinda kinda hit me like as I went to bed last night. I'm like... Damn, like, I actually have to do all this shit. Like, <laughs> I actually have to do this. Like, I kind of have no choice right now. But that kind of helps you, actually, knowing that you don't really have the option. Need a jab tomorrow? No. Um, Friday, I'm getting sedated to have an operation, a uh, gastroscopy. 
They're gonna shove a camera down my throat. I also have another operation coming up. They're gonna get rid of a stone in my throat. You know, not like a literal rock, but a calculus or whatever. Um, that's honestly a bit scarier. Um, and I'm only really worried because I've not really had any of this stuff happen before, so I'm honestly a bit nervous. IV, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Things are... I don't know, because, you know, <laughs> I probably seem happy all the time, but there's I've got some, like, real-life shit going on lately. It's not even about the pain, it's just like... I don't know, man. I kind of wish I wasn't... weak. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a bit concerning. I know it's going to be nothing, it'll be over and done with, like, I get that part, but it's just... You know, like, the irrational sort of fear... It just... it Thinking about it does hit me. Like, it does make me a bit squeamish. I know it will be fine. Like, it's not like I don't trust the doctors or anything. Like, that's not what it is. Um, yeah, the COVID jabs. I really didn't want to have to take them. For no reason other than I didn't like needles. And they basically forced everyone to get them. Like, literally here, they... You couldn't work, you couldn't go anywhere except a grocery store. And yeah, after the first one, I was fine. Which was... Funny enough, because I forget uh, which was the more devastating one. I think the first one killed me more. Uh, I remember my arm was really sore in addition to all the uh, reaction you got. So I was laying in bed, I was like bedridden for 24 hours, and I just couldn't move my arm either, and it sucked. Like, I was so uncomfortable, and all I wanted to do was lay down. Yeah, I feel like the second one I got was, like, nothing compared to the first. I and I don't know why. Because I heard it was supposed to be a lot worse. A lot of people told me that. But yeah, just... I don't know, I'm... Quite nervous, because... I've never really been a strong person. I think a lot of you guys probably know that. If anyone thinks I'm strong, it's really, like... I have to, like, psych myself into being strong or a confident person most of the time. You know, fake it till you make it, right? That's how it works. But honestly, I... I'm nervous. I'm really nervous for this upcoming week. Because lately, just shit, the circumstance has been, like, kind of do or die. And... Really, like... It's good and bad. It's good because I can't really back out. Like, I just have to kind of do what I'm doing. I really have to. But the bad thing about it is, like... I don't really feel like I have control over what's happening or what's going to happen. That's kind of what sucks. Like, I feel like I've been forced to do a lot of what's happening soon. And I'm just... It's not the end of the world, obviously. I could have way worse problems, but I'm really not used to having all this happen at the same time. And it's just like... Again, it feels like you're being thrown in the deep end when you had so much time... where there was no real responsibility or anything going on, and suddenly now everything is like... you just have to do all this shit that you really don't want to do. You just have to cop it, you just have to accept it. I'm obviously not just talking about work. Um... It's more work in the job that I don't really want to work. I'm not going to lie. I don't really want to work with food. Because I can't do the simple things I enjoy, like having my nails done. I just... I know that sounds stupid. I know that sounds stupid, and I know the obvious simple solution is to just... Don't care. I get that. I'm not going to. I'm literally going to remove this after the stream or tomorrow morning. But it literally is the thing that I like doing the most, you know? I just have to say goodbye to it because... I couldn't get a job anywhere but a restaurant that works with food. I literally couldn't. I applied everywhere, and these are the only people that are taking me. So I have to say goodbye to something I really like. I don't really have a choice. And I can do it. I can do it. Obviously, anyone can do it. You just say, well, no, but it doesn't mean you don't miss it. You know, things you enjoy. 
you know, putting obviously a high value um, in my, like, being comfortable how I appear. My appearance actually matters a lot, so... Yeah, that is true. I don't plan on staying here forever because, again, I fucking hate the idea of not having, like, not being able to do shit outside of work because work doesn't let you, which is exactly the example I provided. Again, I know it seems far-fetched, but say if I have five days off and someone wants me to pick up a shift or they want to give me a shift in the middle of that, I now have a responsibility to remove my fucking nail polish and it's just like, why? Like... How- why can't I live my fucking life outside of work, you know what I mean? And I know it sounds like I'm privileged or whatever the fuck, but it's just like... They're literally fucking dead skin cells! Like, you know, I don't- and it's like, in a food place, you fucking wear gloves anyways. And I don't know how many fucking times I've walked into a, to the same restaurant and just seen, you know, any checkout chick with their nails done or whatever. Like, it's just like... I shouldn't have to... Care. I shouldn't have to... Argue. Or whinge about something I like doing and say goodbye to something I like doing that doesn't really fucking matter. It goes both ways, you know what I mean? It's one of the things that I like doing that gives me comfort. And saying goodbye to it sucks. Even if it's something that most people don't give a shit about. It's just how it is. I know it seems like a really dumb thing to hang on or, you know, keep talking about. But literally it is because it seems like a dumb thing for other people to hang on about, you know. And them to just not give me the option to wear gloves. You know what I mean? Like, should I really have to pick one job over the other because of something like this? I shouldn't have to. But I do have to. Just, like, say goodbye to something I like, and it's just like... I'm already saying goodbye to, you know, freedom. So... Like, let me keep one thing. Let me keep one thing that I like doing that actually makes me happy. Because the happier I am, the better I'm gonna be day to day, you know? Rather than fucking lose my shit. Alright, so we've leveled up our... things. Now we got a destiny draw. Alright. Now we got a destiny draw. Alright, so, destiny draw. What are we doing? Arsenal bug. We want an insect deck leader, right? Literally scrolling up to see what what's going on. Because you said meet both requirements, you get woods and sprite. So we may as well attempt to do the uh, insect one first in case it gives us woodland sprite anyway, right? Um. Minar deck leader, and then it, uh, once we get the insect one, we can switch back to Queen of Autumn Leaves. Um. Damn it, I have Toon Summon Skull for this man. This is gonna be so miserable, honestly. Like, oh god, what are we even doing? Not that. And we want. Job change mirror. And then... Fuck, that's what... We need a Jirai Gumo to, like, manipulate our life points or something? Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. We're so underprepared for this, honestly. I want, like, reveal cards. A bunch of Fiend equips, right? Or... 
a few. We got Mega Morph that, I don't know. This is going to be terrifying. Yeah, I can, but I don't know what else is going to lower them apart from a Jiragumo. That's why I want a Jiragumo, so I can just move that once to trigger it. Um, otherwise, I need to tank a hit that deals less than 1k. I need some, like, destruction cards or something. I don't have- I didn't even have Rageki. Exile the Wicked. Fisher. Fish is actually good. Pfft. It's probably one of the better cards here. What else lowers my life points by, like, a bit? Not a thousand, but, like, I just guess I just need to tank a hit, honestly. Mucus Yoke lowers their life points, not mine. If Mucus Yoke lowered your own life points, what actually would be the point of that card? That would be so bad. Oh, wait a minute! Okay, I can use Bad Reaction to Samochi. And then use, like... Muyan Curry. And Red Medicine. Five more. What do I need here? Not Sparks. I don't want him to trigger my Destiny Draw early, which is a problem. Monster Recovery... Uh, I need a mind control card then if I use monster recovery. I can like take one of their shitty cards. Okay. So what do we need? We need three fiends on the field. Between 3,000 to 4,000 attack. Wait a minute, can't I, um... Shouldn't I, like, equip their monsters to make them stronger or something? Is that a thing that I can do? I'm pretty sure I can, right? Why do I have Burning Land? Need the whole map to be, uh... Experience spy. Monster recovery. Shift. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Really. Um... If I recall, this is what I did. It was something like this. Because you can have the labyrinth between you and the monster, the other monster. It was something like this. So we need three fiends between 3k and under 4k attack. And we need to trigger a destiny draw when the highest attack of those is around, right? I need to put my life points down to a thousand. And 
And also I put on my my SP. All right, my SP ray charge ray is fine. It's twelve. Oh god. This is gonna suck. <laughs> hey, here, what's up? Hello, I am trying to uh, destiny draw a arsenal bug. I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly, so this is terrifying. <laughs> but we have to Destiny draw this, and we have to Destiny draw a Woodland Sprite. Otherwise, we are, like, screwed. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing my best to get this done before the end of the stream. I got a few more hours. I hope you're doing well. Fisher! That might help. That might be useful, actually. Alright, we need, um... We need to get rid of Map Barrel anyway. And hopefully he plays another high attack card. We should have three Dark Piercing Lights, so... That's a good sign as well. I wish I knew what his card was, because if that is, uh... As long as that's 3k attack, we basically just need to bait this summon skull somehow. To deal some amount of damage. Um... It's a dangerous game to play. I don't know what this card is. I need a Dark Piercing Light to really figure this out. I don't really want to swords him.
now I think I have to. <laughs> That's in defense mode, so... So if this hits this, we'll drop, and then we'll destiny draw something. I just don't want this to be a higher attack card than these other two. This summon skull needs to be the highest attack card, I think. We take a gamble, maybe? I guess, uh, we can Mega Morph it. Uh... So he's gonna attack us, summon Skull, that should give us a Destiny draw, and hopefully this just lands it. If not, then we're fucking gotta do all this again. I think that lag there is actually the game calculating our destiny draw. I'm hoping that that's a good sign. Am I even meeting the requirement GMS? I don't even know. I mean, the, <laughs> the card's phased out anyway. He needs to have another card that's not higher attack than Summon Skull. The other card is actually in our attack and range though, so hopefully this is it. No, it's Mirror Force. What did he have then? What did we fuck up? We need to actually exit and try again. I just want to see what's wrong. Not even 3k attack. Dude, if I gave this a fucking Axe of Despair, it would have counted, man. Really? Oh, that pisses me off. It literally needed 200 more attack, and we probably would have got that card. Oh, far out. This is annoying. I know they're not guaranteed, but with that, there was no possibility of it. We go from 0% chance to 55%. You know, it's not random if one is higher chance than the other's at like 55%, right? It's still over a 50% chance to do it versus literally 0% chance. If it has to be 3k or above... Again, my point is literally we had a 0% chance of getting it there, because there wasn't three monsters with 3k or above attack, right? I thought they needed to be 3k and up. Okay, then. That's a bit more relieving. Um, yes, I had five hundred. Thirty-eight hundred, Jesus Christ. That is this thirty-eight hundred, Muldrew, thirty-two hundred. Like, surely this is the highest attack card on the field. 3,800.
Plus, aren't there Mirror Force in other rows anyway? I thought like th half of the rows let you have Mirror Force. Alright, 400 life points. It's in two. Rageki. We got a Rageki. Thirty-eight hundred, twenty-five, twenty-two, fifty, thirty-one. So this was the highest attack card on the field. And my... was my guy here? What did... oh, that's right. It's because he's too far away, he got spellbound by the air reader, right? Yeah. Fucking air reader, what a useless piece of shit. Oh my god. I didn't even know why I moved my guy up. I really just didn't think that it would get spellbound for whatever reason. I liked Air Eater as a kid, it was my second boss monster. What a play. The lag. Why wouldn't you flip up and attack my guy, you asshole? My guy is in my acts of despair. What is he doing, man? What the hell? Surely I have three Dark Piercing Light in my deck, right? I just want one. That's literally all I want. My barrel. Oh god. Copycat, what is he copycatting? Fisher? Interesting. We need King of Yami Makai. 
Can it be equal highest? I want to give Dragon Seeker a little something something. This King and Yami Makai is two away anyway, actually, so... That shouldn't matter. If this is still within attacking range, I should be able to just play my Bistro Butcher here, right? This should work. Well, this should be the same row. Yeah, well, the King and Yami Makai is highest, and it's... Oh my... Jesus fucking Christ. Now it's not going to be within attacking range of my fucking deck leader, dude. This game pisses me off sometimes. Really? Like... Wait. Oh my fucking god. Me not being able to... It's, it has nothing to do with that. I can't even begin to explain... What is going on. Because look, now that map barrel is going to chase me before the King of Yami Makai does, so I won't even be able to trigger this... Properly. Oh, well. Alright, so I can move and then go... I can do this. And then now I can do it. 2800. In before one of these is like the highest attack card on the field now. Rageki. Nah. Nah what? What am I supposed to do? Was that even the same row? Man, when I did this for YouTube, it literally took me the first try. I'm not even kidding. It literally took me the first try. This music is too happy. What am I looking for? I'm looking to Destiny draw... A Arsenal Bugger Woodland Sprite. I have to Destiny draw. I have to meet the requirements for a Destiny draw, and then it's a 55% chance of happening. There's no other way to get these cards in your library but Destiny drawing them. So to do this, their highest attack card needs to be within attacking range of my deck leader on the same turn that my life points drop below a thousand points, and then I have a 55% chance of getting it. And I'm not getting the Fiend one anymore if it's got zombies, so whatever. I want Arsenal Bug, that's really... it's impossible now, right? Why the fuck do I even have that card in my deck? I actually don't know why that card's in my deck. That's just me being dumb.
Like, how long is this going to take? Way too long, honestly. It's already taking way too long. I really would like to see my Dark Piercing Lights. I'm pretty sure I put all three in my deck. I don't know why I wouldn't have. Because I that's like the one card that I want, so I actually know what the fuck these cards are. Because I need their highest attack card to be within attacking range of my deck leader, or this just doesn't work at all, period. Until I know what it is, I can't predict that, you know. I just can't. Seriously, man. <sighs> I just need a dark piercing light so I can see what the hell his cards are. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to activate swords. Ah, oh, he's got a job change mirror, whatever. Whatever, dude, whatever. He's gonna copycat my Mimic Cat. Cool. then. Yay! Oh my freaking god. Give me some info on this. Uh, and his highest attack card is there. It's a Bakuri box. That's fantastic. That's just great. How am I even going to get there? Honestly, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do there. I could attack and destroy his monsters. Until they get here. Oh, I don't do this. Don't fucking do this shit. Oh my god, dude, really? The thing is, I have SP maxed out, so there's no real reason why it should take him so long. Like... To bring out damage. He should be bringing out his highest damage on his, like, second or third turn, honestly. 
I'm gonna move behind this card and try to get the Bakuri box. What is he doing that for, man? Really? Like... He really should stop doing that. Okay, this is fine, actually. Um, Alright, so when he attacks this with a crew box, that's our chance, right? So we need to make sure we got a card out of the hand so we can destiny draw something. And then he has to attack our man-eating treasure chest. And then hopefully we get it. Oh, please let this be it. What is that, dude? Seriously, man. Oh my god. Please. Please stop doing this shit. Oh my god. I don't need to get rid of Zoar out of my hand, no. I just need one card missing from my hand so I can Destiny draw. I just need this. Bakuri box has to be his highest attack monster. Otherwise this will guaranteed not work. Woohoo! We got the Woodland Sprite! We got the Woodland Sprite. Look at that shit. Mmm, we did it. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christo. Uh, fuck it. We can exit out now, right? Uh, I don't know. Do I need to wait to the end of my turn? I, I don't know. If we play it out of the hand, does that count? I really don't want to fucking exit and not show up. I really don't want that to happen. Oh my god. I just want to attack him and take the victory. Honestly, I earned this. Two K plus, right? It's dead. Hmm. Spicy. Alright, now we need to do Arsenal Bug, which is a bit more painful, but... We could use non-fiends, I guess, right? Like dragons? Let's see what the highest attack cards are. Yep, okay. That's fine. Um, so they just need to have three monsters between 3k and 3999, is that it? It doesn't need to be around my deck leader? Alright, uh... Huh. Okay, so they literally just need three monsters. You need an insect deck leader, and they need to be between three and three nine nine nine. 
Okay. That's how I am understanding this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna add any forest cards. Fuck that. Oh, that Inferior King Truce there, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll add in some th more Thunders, see if it makes a bunch of THTDs. Maybe that's the play. Maybe THTD Fusion Deck is the play. Blah. Trifecto indeed. Unfortunately, I won't ever be doing a trifecto because the one try one time I tried to upload a trifecto, I got my instant upload eligibility revoked. And so that's why half of the emotes that I've commissioned aren't even up yet. I just do this. I don't really know if I want to do that setup again. Alright. <clears throat> so they need to have three monsters on the field between 3000 and 3999. Okay. I still got Exile or Wicked, okay, whatever. The DPL is a good sign. Also, if they have a monster over 4k, does it still count the three that aren't over 4k? Okay. I'll try to manip things with, um, maybe I should have shielded this area. Probably put Labyrinth here, and then here. He goes Giga Chat if he has high attack monsters, so I probably should block that middle area. Um. I'll play one of my DPLs this turn. I still got one on the field.
Really? This thing's gonna chase me like crazy. Also, if I flipped up Exile of the Wicked, I should have just let him use that. On his own summon skull and then used Fisher. Alright, I've got him stuck there, that monster. It wants to attack me through the labyrinth. You can tell because there's a bit of a delay. You gotta be kidding me, man. Fucking hell. He's got five monsters out, and I can't force him to play another one. Uh, literally none but that one card. I have more than that, and that really sucks. Why can't he play THTD, man? Do I need more thunders in the deck or something? I really can't, I have no damage. I had to say Yayu with a Mega Morph and he had like a 3700 attack Sango. I think I just need to put more thunders in. So that he just keeps playing THTD, that's my goal. Yeah, I couldn't beat that card. And plus, I didn't want to attack that anyway. I wanted that to be on the field because it was between 3k and 4k. What are the lowest attack cards? Apart from the funders, obviously. Alright, what do we actually have here? Alright, um, I think that, I guess the strat is to just hope that he brings out a bunch of THTDs and then go for it. Alrighty.
I would love if I had three fishes, but I don't. I've only got one. Alright, he's going to revive THTD, I think. Good. Good, good, good. That works. Look at this! Like, what the fuck? I guess he needs more dragons and thunders, you know? Fuck it, I don't need change of heart. We gotta create some more 3k attack, guys. If we see him... I really wanna see him fusion summon, but I guess he doesn't have enough... Um, dragons and thunders. He has not enough monsters to just draw into hands where he's fusing that stuff. So what did he revive? Did he revive my Sangha? He would have, right? Yeah. So he has three monsters on the field. Like that, okay. <sighs> Alright, so he's got the three monsters between 3,000 4,000. I need to drop my life points. It's so funny. Uh, Jesus, get me out of here. Um... Yep, so he's got the requirements. I want to kind of block him here. Or he could attack me here, I guess. So I got one slot to Destiny draw, he's got the three monsters between 3k and 4k, I've got an Insect deck leader. Hopefully this gets us, um, the Arsenal bug. I really hope so. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy! Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Mmm, nice. Alright, good. Again, I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm gonna wait until the end of this turn. I'm gonna finish my turn with the card face up on the field. Should count. 
Wow, we did the destiny draw shit. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Save immediately. And we're gonna double check and verify this before I change. And start doing other stuff. I think the custom duel is almost... Like, we don't need to do it for a while. There we go. It counted. What the hell is 422? Must be man eat a bug. And 417. I don't know. What the hell? I don't know what I'm missing out on. Alright, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's make a deck. Again. Queen of Autumn Leaves. And then what do we need? Immortals again? Oh my god. I don't even know what I need in this deck. I don't like a lot of these cards. I don't need any more. Alright, I guess we have to do a reincarnation now, don't we? Oh my god. Let's save and reincarnate. Have to try and get a Fiend's Reflection or something. Fiend's Reflection number two. Yeah, I know, right? Why can't there be something at the top of the screen? It's 29 deck cost monster! Oh, please. Please. Really, I have to scroll down each time? We're looking for Fiend Reflection number two before we move on and do all the actual interesting stuff again. And yeah, there is no way we're finishing this tonight, unfortunately. I would really like to, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Do name sort and bolt discargo. Really, this isn't any easier.
This still is a strat, right? One deck cost lower than the Fiend Reflection number two. And it's 1.14%. For each time. Why did I do this? Why did I make this a sub goal? This is only slightly higher though, right? One point four percent each time. Epic. 1.47% each time we reincarnate. That's just fantastic. Epic. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. What I actually am, honestly, the only thing that's really bugging me is the fact that I have to locate a 29 deck cost card each time. That is the only real gripe, honestly. I know this is bullshit, but it's just like, yeah, this is annoying. Like, it makes me just think, may as well do 32 deck cost reincarnation if it's still going to be like 1%-ish. Wait a minute, shouldn't I reincarnate a monster where it's possible to get either Eye Armor or Fiend Reflection? Is that a thing that I can do? Is there any possible deck cost card monster I can reincarnate? That will make it more likely for me to get either card than just one of them. Like, either card odds put together. This lighting's kind of comfy. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, huh? Uh, hold on. I mean, if I'm going to be grinding, if I'm going to be doing this either, like... And especially, like, if I have Newcomer Sort... Or just, I don't know, I'm looking for a card that's up here, like, I don't know, Blackland Fire Dragon or something? Because then it's literally right here. I just press R1. And then I... Eventually I land on one of these, right, hopefully. Slightly funny story. Oh, I'm already so riveted. You ever heard that sound effect before? Yo, a gift sub from Eureka to Kellogg's Frost. Congratulations, Kellogg's Frost. 
And thank you very much for the sub, Uretha. You... I almost said Uretha. That was very violently close to a, a, a word that I should not call anyone. Eureka, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. You can tell I'm going fucking insane right now, so I really do appreciate the love. Thank you very much. Please don't kill me. Hiding my face in shame. I can't believe I said that. Oh my god. Help me. So gross. Headbang into the music. Yeah, no, I just... I don't know. I... It's gross, man. Who the fuck wants to hear that word? That's like one of the grossest words. I deserve a taco. I ate before. I had uh, four leftover KFC wings. I would love some, like, chocolate. A nice, like, chocolate milkshake right now would be sick. I also had to pee, like, 50 goddamn times during this. Negate attack! <laughs> Sorry, but every time I read negate attack, I think when Seto Kaiba says dark light attack in the first... I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why. Also, I... I have better, uh... Or... There are foods, Mexican foods, that are better than tacos, like, way better than tacos, like, uh, fajitas. Fajitas are probably my favorite Mexican food, honestly. Fajitas. I love them. Fajita, what does a scouter say about its power level? Why are you angry? Why are you angry? <laughs> I don't want to make you angry. If you respect my opinion, why are you so angry? I respect your opinion. That's what the angry face looks like, right? Thwomp. Does that sound like a thwomp? I forget the difference between the womp and the thwomp. <laughs> oh, it's dog as a bridge as well. Fuck that shit. How about nothing approaches because uh, we're not getting any of our cards. We're not going to for ages. That is oddly specific. Oh, it's Darkness Approaches again. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Hey, Darkness Approaches, how you doing? Trash. Trashola! How? Other scenarios you were thinking that were way more specific, like what? Like what? Biao biao! I love that sound effect, that's my favorite one. Oh my god, why am I doing this? Burglar. It's a burglar alarm. I actually got excited for a second, that looked like it was gonna be maybe eye armor. And then it's look, bootleg Kairu Shin. Your Mangard. 
Your man guard. And no more toilet paper. That's that's a lot worse. That's a lot more grim. How about the face that I make when I don't get one of the two cards that I want <laughs> in reincarnation? Uh... Why is it giving me spells? What are you doing, bro? And then it gave me Air Marmo of Dr. Nefariousness. I don't know, if I had more time to process shit and I had more days to like guarantee that I would be streaming, I probably wouldn't be as bothered, but I was kind of hoping that the last few hours would be spent just farming, like dueling the opponents and farming their cards. Because this is arguably more painful than passwords, honestly. It depends on how long it will take, I guess. Theoretically, we could be here forever oh, without even getting anything. I'm trying to entertain myself with the ha la 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 how. 34 hours to get both. Yeah, that's awesome. That's. I may as well just continue doing other shit. And then, like, surrender five times between the reincarnations. That's why I'm hoping to hit one or the other right now. And then I can do all the other shit and then just at the end reincarnate. Because it'll be... Oh my god, so we get fucking mucus yoke. Okay, well we don't even need that shit. <laughs> we already have them. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. <laughs> That's actually fucking hilarious. That's actually fucking funny. <laughs> Why, game? Why, game? It's just like before. It literally, it didn't give us Firewing Pegasus until it gave us all the other three cards and one of them twice. And then it was like, okay, now you can have it. Yellow Luster Shield. Again, when I was a kid, I thought Yellow Luster Shield was, like, overpowered. But then you realize defense points in this game are just not that good. I can't believe it. You think you would celebrate a mucus joke reincarnation, but no. Leo Wizard? That's the worst card possible. That means we're gonna get the card we want, right? On the last one, right, 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 right. No. It's an infinite dismissal. Weevil's favorite card. I still can't believe in episode one, the tournament winning play. Is literally playing a basic insect with an infinite dismissal and the laser cannon armor or insect armor, whatever the fuck that is. I... How does that win a whole tournament? How does that possibly win a whole tournament? I do not understand. And how did he win by destroying a king headed, a two headed king rex? How did he even destroy that? Because if you equipped Basic Insect, it would do a thousand, not over sixteen hundred and lethal. Like, what the fuck? How are we getting three spells from reincarnating a monster? How? How is that possible? Oh my god.
Well, more bullshit things can happen. Rain of mercy. Yeah, I need some fucking mercy right now. Game's just insulting me at this point. I need some more luck, guys. Now's where the channel points pay off. I need every little... Even if it's... Even if luck doesn't even calculate from the chat to this game, which it absolutely doesn't, but I just... I need faith. I need belief is what I need. Dirt deck. Masked shit. The worst card in the goddamn game. And an angel. A petite angel? No, shining friendship. 1.20% chance to get something. Well, uh, I don't know how many times I've done this, but surely. Surely it'll pay off, right? Yeah, Tears of the Mermaid, because I'm on the brink of fucking tears right now. Shovel Crusher. Crushing my dreams. Weather Control. Look at that sad motherfucker. I appreciate that facial expression, because that's mine. This music is killing me at this rate. Necrolance of the Time Lord. That's a nostalgia card because that's in the Cruel Starter deck and it just sucks so much that I like really didn't understand what, like how I was supposed to use that card or whatever. Ideally, like, here's the thing that sucks. Imagine if I get one of these cards and I complete literally everything but the last reincarnation card within the stream. I don't know. I can still go for another, like, three hours, I guess, but... I guess I could go a bit longer than that, but... The One-Eyed Shield Dragon. It's like the poor man's Blue-Eyes White Dragon. At least it has a shield on the dragon, you know. You know. Help me! Help me! <laughs> 
Not quite the eye that I'm looking for. Mm, no. My pain is good background noise. I always knew you were sadistic. I always knew it. I see what you did there. That provides me with a good insight. Alright, that was just shit and forced. Uh... What the fuck was that noise? I don't even know. I don't know. Last night, I tr I kind of tried to go to bed a bit early. I woke up today a bit earlier. Because I do want to adjust my sleep cycle, but... It would be nice to knock off at least one of these before I stop streaming. And then because I need to get duels before the other mandatory reincarnation, actually doing some stuff. Doing this, hopefully we get one card as quickly as possible. And then we can actually do some stuff. Until, like, I, you know can't do it anymore. Otherwise, literally gonna have to take a day off of streaming and then do it after I get back from work on Tuesday and like... I don't really want to be thinking about doing this like while I'm working. I kind of don't. Sword and shield. Sorry, shield and sword. Shield and swordfish, dude. M-Warrior. He's ripped as fuck, dude. Oh. What are you even staring at numbers for? What are you doing right now? This has got to be the ultimate background noise stream, but it's repeating cycles. Over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. <sighs> ask me anything. Now is the time to ask me literally anything. Looking into stocks. Are you going to invest? I think I'm too dumb for the stock market. I've never really been good with money, so... I don't... I've, I've heard people, like, say shit, like, stocks are the only way to, like, guarantee that you're not, like, gonna get fucked over by inflation over time. But what if you make a bad investment? Then it fucks you over more than, like, um... You know. If he's a wire. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that as well. Like, if you invest all your money into that, then you're gonna live without money and just wait and just sit there for your stocks to pay off. And if it doesn't happen, then you're fucked. As I've never really invested or bought anything, like, really majorly expensive. The biggest purchases I've made are something like, you know, a mattress and bed furniture and stuff and my air conditioning unit and, like, my PC. I've never really spent more than, like, 2k and that's Australian honestly so that's probably like one to one and a half thousand pound depending on what year we're talking I don't think I've ever made a purchase any bigger than that and across two summers I've gotten so much value out of this aircon and it's reverse cycle so I can use it in the uh, winter as a heater as well
passive investment. Massive investment. That doesn't even make sense what I said. There's no M that I like stole from. Passive income is nice. I gotta admit. That's what YouTube is after making all those videos and finally monetizing. I get about 100 Australian a month just from YouTube. And it's very handy because it comes in... It usually comes in like at a point where my actual pay doesn't. So if I'm starting to run lower, it's just like an injection of money and it's very handy. Index funds. I've heard about that. Are they like... Is this a good thing or not? Index funds. Someone told me about a while ago. I forget who. Might have been like just some online friend. Ooh, La Moon. Guaranteed average returns. So what the fuck's the point then? Why not just use your money for whatever you actually want to buy? Like, isn't that what money's for? He's a man to make you work hard, make you crash cars. I don't actually know the lyrics to that song. Wish you never ever met her at all. No, 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 no. You guys remember that song? Nelly Furtado. This music is just the start of this music, that synth. I really don't like it, and already it's actually killing me. Just loading into the screen, it's like. It's just like, shut up! I wish I could uh, hit my mute button, but still have the desktop audio play, because otherwise this happens. Oh, wait a minute, it doesn't. The desktop audio is still going. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Now I'm just... in silence. And it's peaceful. Mmm... peace. The Lord of the Rings. Necrolance of the Time Lord. Oh my god. I don't even know if this silence is better. What am I searching for? Either Eye Armor or Fiend Reflection number two. These are two cards that I literally have to reincarnate to get. There's no other way to get them in the game. Or even, like, steal them from an opponent. You just can't. This absolutely is going to have to take a third stream. It has to. There's no way I'm going to be done with the next few hours. It's impossible.
Dragon Piper. It's actually Pot the Trick. Pot the Trick is such a weird name. Like, what actually does that freaking mean? Pot the Trick. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you already want one copy, you gotta enjoy bullshit. Hello guys, today we're gonna do a tutorial for uh, how to OTK. Just uh, reincarnate this card, it's fucking easy. And reincarnate and get three copies, it's fine. Everyone can do that casually. Co-signed under Lord Tico. Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial for the best 3 in a row method, and then the next video I'm going to say that deck leader abilities are useless. So don't rank up your deck leaders, and just do it inefficiently. And then 10 years later he shows his massive fucking dick on OnlyFans. What happened to the world, man? What actually happened to the world? The Stern Mystic? I'm like coping thinking about keeping that, but you can get that from Grandpa. Jesus Christ. What I've done, I fucked myself. Jesus Christ, man. Also, that guy literally tells you how to, um... He instructs you to... Duplicate your passwords as if it works the way he like you know He tells you to copy your memory card and then trade them over as if that actually works like as if there isn't some protection on the game That literally stops you from doing that And just everyone just believes it even though they've like it's literally impossible the misinformation spread in this game is literally like I know people say that I whine and complain a lot, but I literally wouldn't be here if, like, there wasn't so much shit to correct that I actually started making YouTube videos in the first place, correcting misinformation about the game. That's been the crusade that I've been on my whole life. Stopping the spread of bullshit. The Midnight Fiend. It's like... It's like this. Nothing is coming for us today, it seems. It is officially actually Monday now, and we haven't got the card. Oh, cards. Hey, Kimini. Uh, we have been trying to reincarnate for uh, either Eye Armor or Fiend Reflection number two for, I don't know, half an hour. Still no luck. So I need your luck and prayers. I need your good luck and prayers. I'll take every bit of faith that you have willing to spare. Yep. Cause I gotta have faith. Oh, I gotta have faith. Cause I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Even though it doesn't even matter. Dun, da -da -do -do. Yo, what's up, Kimini? Tell me about your day. Please uh, wake me up before you go-go. 
Yeah, I've got to have fate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going insane. I really just want one, either one of these two cards. I will take either one of these two cards that I need, and then I want to keep playing the actual freaking game. And then we'll worry about the other reincarnation, like, at the end. Surely when there's two cards, it's easier than one. Right? Right? Am I wrong? We just... We literally have to do this to get all cards in the library. Uh, there's no other way to get Eye Armor or Fiend Reflection number two. These have to be have to be the two most painful cards to get. All the other ones that are reincarnate, not how it works. What's not how it works? Have I been doing this wrong the whole time? Help me. Yo, again, my theory was if we can hit either of the cards this way, even if those odds are like 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, isn't that better than just doing 1 at 0, uh, at 1.1, right? Is it? Because that's what I was going for here. Same pool. What do you What do you mean? I know that. And if I'm gonna land on a random deck cost, that's either ten higher or ten lower. I'm gonna land on one of those two, right? Eventually. I don't fucking know. Oh my god. Eventually. Exactly! I landed on frickin' mucus yoke. Yo, I was hoping that it would be factual and then Blackland is quicker. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, so I gotta turn into a tool assisted speeder and that's how to do it. Just hit it at the exact frame, right? That's how I do it. It's honestly hard to stay focused at this point. I don't even think I've been this strained in a while. My soul is leaving my body. Help! 
send help. Isn't this just amazing content? Like, isn't just everyone really riveted to watch me do this over and 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 No, it's just a cope. It's just a cope. Terrible. Give me something, game. Give me something. There's only so many possible cards it could land on every time, right? <laughs> you know? It's not like there's infinite amount of cards in this game. Behegon. Barox. So we got two of the ugliest monsters ever. And then Wings of Wicked Flame. I am starting to feel like hopefully we get one of these and then just pff, if it takes two hours or whatever I just call it there and then finish it next stream. Amphibious Bugroth, really? Amphibious Bugroth is another card that I didn't actually know was in the game until I was like literally in my 20s or something. Like, I never knew that card existed as a kid. It, it was possible that I've seen it, but I honestly don't remember. Oh my god. It actually took that long to get an Exodia piece. Hey, that's less insulting than the Mucus Yoke because it's uh, 15, not 16. So that's not, that was not going to be eye armor anyway. So I'm not even salty about that. It's just kind of funny. We could have kept it, we could have coped, but I really just want to get one of these actual cards that we want. Because that will at least remove one of the two that we need. Instead, we get a freaking farting guy. That's great. Yorman fart. Oh, yeah, the princess is three. Right. God damn it. Princess of fuck you. Speaking of Princess of Sarugi. Yeah, no. I actually have an idea for my nip. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do my own manip. I actually give no fucks anymore. I'm doing my own manip for this. Um, okay, so. Alright. 
Okay. Ooh, that's not where I want to be. All right, hold on. All right. <clears throat> Time for a little bit of fucking Clovis manip, you know what I mean? Clover shenanigans, absolutely Clover shenanigans. Alright. Sort by uh, deck cost. What are we looking at? 16 deck cost, right? There's so many cards here. When is Redux old cards? Never. What is this witchcraft? Uh, it's called Clovis Manip. That's what I'm calling it. It's legit term. Um, Okay. Alrighty then. ISO select, uh, Brows. Jewels of the Roses, Clovis Edition. Here we go. System fast. Alright, here we go. I know. I'm aware. No one needs to see what I'm doing. Oh wait, let's unmute it, because I'm... We're back to heaven now. Oh, yes. This is still going to take a while. Hmm... We should probably do the normal method now, but whatever. Ah. Oh. Mm. Nice. Also, oh, you can get Mon Lavas by reincarnation. All right, cool. How many cards are left? Still a lot. Still a lot. Hmm. Oh, yes. No, it's not. We have to get so many cards, it's not even funny. Now we can move on. Yeah, I just removed everything else, all the other monsters from that pool. What floor? I can no longer help. I can! I absolutely can. That was completely legitimate. I reincarnated, and I got a card that was in the reincarnation pool. 
I don't see anything wrong with that. Here's the thing, so this run isn't even legit anyway, because first of all, I broke up the timer in the middle, second of all, I got sound glitch, so I had to restart the emulator during the run, um, on one recording. Um, third, I'm using Deckmaster I and... I, yeah, so... <laughs> this is probably the least illegitimate thing that I've done so far. Um, so yeah. I didn't even really care at this point. I think it's pretty obvious that I was just going to be doing this until I get that anyway, so whatever. I got a card in the reincarnation pool by reincarnating. So, seems pretty legit to me. Maybe... It's theoretically possible that I didn't edit anything, and this is all for comedy's sake, and I just got extremely lucky using a Python script. Yeah, think about that. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah, the one you sent me, right? You you're GMS, you know a lot about this game and you're you're very savvy. I did restart the game. Didn't you see me restart the emulator and fast boot? Alright. Okay, so what the hell are we doing now? We can actually play the goddamn game. So I just have to remember, I just have to remember to restart before I do the next one. God, isn't this just so much better? We can actually play the fucking game now. I don't care if people call me a cheat, I actually don't give a fuck. Because I'm, I'm effectively doing the same thing that you should be doing, getting the card legitimately. We've just manipulated it so that we get really lucky. That's literally all we did. We've just manipulated the game that it gives us the luck that we want to get after I don't know how many hours of sitting here and retrying. And again, the realistic fact is... We all know it's hard. And we do have modding tools, so... If you're watching this right now... I don't know, just use a modding tool, I don't really care. I mean, you can literally just download an all card save file, so I don't really think anyone's going to be upset that I did that. Because it was pretty obvious that I was going to be sitting there until I got that anyway. So this just saves people the hassle of having to see me sit and watch me do that for fucking hours. Oh my god, okay, so let's get Novox's Prayer. Again, I didn't add anything into a different pool, I just made it a much higher chance. To get that card if I landed on that number. Alright. So, Novox's prayer, I think, is uh, this tile here. I've still got my. Um... What's it called? My, uh, Destiny Draw deck, which I probably should edit this, but whatever. Yo, the thing is, I'm pretty sure if you activate, like, D-hole right here... ...then it doesn't even do it. You have to D-hole and then move under the tile anyway. I guess we could have played a top right, moved it forward, and then moved our guy. Yeah. I don't really care that much. I mean, after what we just did, do you really think I care that much? Whoa, shit. Yeah. Cool. Alright, we got that. Nice. Oh, is he going to attack me directly now? Watch this. What is it? Wicked Mirror, okay. That's the Fiend Reflection that we wanted, right? Um... I need more monsters. That would be cool. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. 
should use uh, Call the Haunted to make my Immortals a zombie for speedrun strats. Go drag magic. Researching this category that had about 100%. It's still not a category, so... There's no official board for it. This isn't even an official run. It's just a thing that I'm recording for the sake of saying that I've done it. Anyways, hello. Drag magic. Is that like a magical drag queen? That would be a very interesting card. I can get a lot of YouTube content from this run. Also, uh, this guy has some... Um, cards that I actually kind of want. He has, um... Resurrection of Chakra. So I am uploading to this run, and the thing is... The thing that I just did is literally eight hours into this VOD, so... Yeah, well, if you want any evidence, I literally, like, edited the reincarnation pool. I edited cards out of the reincarnation pool because I was literally sitting here for, like, 40 minutes trying to reincarnate to get one card. That should pretty be a pretty good indicator of what's going on. Yo, Nick the Ripper, what's up? Thanks for playing a favorite childhood game. Very fun to watch. I appreciate that. Uh, because if you were here about half an hour ago, it wouldn't have been very fun, because we were just reincarnating for a card over and over and over and over again. But hello. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. We had two people de-lurk at the same time, which is kind of interesting. Um, um, bup, 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 bup. I think sometimes when I speak, my microphone actually resonates. It's actually really strange. Just one of them. But I'll get the other one after five more duels. Well, four more duels. Seriously, if I'm at a certain angle and speaking at a certain frequency, I think my actual, like, this resonates. Like, it's really strange. It's actually really bizarre. Alright, so what are we even doing? We got that card. Let's go ahead and try... How long have I been using Python? Literally no time at all. Yeah, brain control. Uh... I forget which Minout and Fab. I think it's the Skull Knight one. Fabler 1891 D4. Okay. D4 is a middle tile, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think it also is. Moisture creature is Seto Kaiba. Seto Kaiba! Wanna become famous? How about we fu- Oh, we got- Whoa, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, what is going on? I've never seen that many at the same time. That's bizarre. Wow. That's, uh, interesting. You want to become famous? How about shut up? Kaijusu. That actually sounds like... Kaijusu sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Three in a row. What's up, Whizcake? What's up, Baines? Thanks for the good luck, Reptile. Force! Yo, Bonk, what's up? Fisher. 
the Bonk Cushy? How do you know him? Is he a famous, world famous, world renowned FM player? Hey, it was a kinetic soldier. Fuck yeah. Alright, cool. Kinetic soldier fights for America. Ah, right, right, right. I apologize. I was, I was, I'm dumb. I don't know. I wasn't even reading that shit. Brain control. Brain control, soldier. Da, 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 da. Wow, 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 wow. Alright. We don't have to win this, but it would be cool. What does Kinetic Soldier do? Uh, gains 2,000 attack and defense. Against warrior monsters. So if you look if you look carefully at Kinetic Soldier, it has 2350 attack and 1800 defense as a 3 star monster. And it gains 2000 bonus points when it battles warriors. Yeah, it's a stupidly overpowered card and this is the only way to get it. In your library is to revive it from this guy. I do have a suspicion... I just kill him now. I do have a suspicion that it was supposed to be a destiny draw card and they just didn't make it one. Yeah, because it's supposed its original stat is like thirteen fifty attack. But they put it to twenty three fifty for whatever reason, I don't know why. It's alright, we're all friends here. Right. Right. Alright, so we got a brain control. Alright, what's next on the list? We got some cards to get from Seto Kaiba. We won uh, Anti Rageki and um, Ultimate Ritual. Wait, we've got- we got Javelin Beetle Pact, right? I didn't actually put an exclamation mark for that one. How much longer am I planning to be on? Um... Yeah, true, Lord of D. Yeah, good point. That way I don't have to get that shitty three in a row. Um... I did plan to be, like, two more hours, but... If I can finish this now, especially with the... Reincarnation Manip... I could probably do this within the next four, and then that means I won't have to do this again, which would be cool. Lord of D is a slot rare, but to complete the library, we can just revive it. Um, under our control, and then that, it'll show up in our library. So I'm just gonna do that. Alright, see ya. There's the ultimate dragon ritual! There it is. We gotta get rid of some trash in this deck, honestly, like, really badly. That's not what I wanna see. Fucking hell.
Uh, 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 oh, God. No, I only have one. You can't actually get more than one unless you trade them over from another save. So we only have one of them. I got two Monster Reborns, though. You can get as many of them as you want, up to nine, obviously, which is a cap. It's the cap. It is the cap. Rewards of Levealing Sight. Mountain, huh? This guy is bricked very hard. Wow. Checking if I can move, because I don't really want to have him play top right and clap me. The Judge Man, with an attack power of 2200. Oh god. We... I... I should have a soul eater in my deck, surely. Fuck it. Yo, Nick, what's up? Uh, let's just say yeah. Let's just say yeah. Lord of D, I actually want that as well. I did a bit of what I call Clovis Manip. This is indeed a run of all time. Holy shite. Uh, I mean, it's not an official run anyway, so I did something that is, it basically disqualifies it from being a real run, even though it's not even a real run, because it's multi-segmented. I got sound glitched during it anyway, which is, like, guaranteed to happen anyway. Um, I'm never gonna submit this as a time, the category is not even existent, so I don't really care that much. What's the good news, Patty? What's the good word? Now we get Lord of D. First negative test. Nice, you're recovering. Now it's time to drink copious amounts of water and copium. What actually is this card? Nah, not alcohol. I'm too wholesome and healthy for that shit. I don't know, I don't really drink alcohol. Every now and then I do, but... You know. I can also revive that, uh... Mikazuki no Yaiba, I guess. You know. I kind of want to do that. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, it's fine. It actually doesn't matter, by the way. I'm just memeing. No, I don't. I literally don't need to do that at all. This card's just gonna die. Watch this. See? Ah, perfect. Okay. Mimi cat. Yay. I hope it doesn't kill this soul leader. Things are happening. Yeah, um... Pfft. If you don't know much about this game, feel free to ask a question. So I can potentially explain to you what's going on. Remember, it's an old cards run, so I'm not really... ...interested in... What is this attack? So, Soul Leader, when it's in face-up defense mode... And the start of your turn, if it's a face-up defense mode, it purges all cards from both graveyards and it gains 200 points for each monster. And the reason why I revive cards like Lord of D and Mikazuki no Yaiba is so that they show up in our library because this is an all cards run. And I'm literally more interested in grabbing those cards then I am winning. I only want to win here because he's got the ultimate dragon ritual card in his graveyard that I actually do want to get. Missed it. Got it. Nice. Uh, what else do I want? Nothing. Ooh, white hole is actually kind of useful. Alright, so we got ultimate dragon, so that's cool. Skull Knight. Yeah, let's get a Skull Knight. We can get Skull Knight and Rageki from this guy, so let's do that now. And we can also get um, two Rituals from him, so let's try that as well. He has hamburger recipe? No, he doesn't. He has uh, Cosmo Queen Prayer and Curse of Trihorn Dragon. Force! Well, that was very smart of him, because that card just dies now. Yeah, that's just the AI for you. 
Trust me, that's not the stupidest thing that the AI will do. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Your card dies on crush terrain if it's 1500 attack or higher. You remember the crush card virus, the actual Yu-Gi-Oh card? That's what that terrain is based on. So if a monster has 1500 attack or higher, it dies on crush unless it's an immortal type monster, which is exclusive to this game. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
If I'm actually farming this guy seriously, I'm gonna edit my deck and put in more life and cover cards, because otherwise he will just kill you anyway. And that'll just give me more time. If he activates Tremendous Fire, I die. He can also activate, um, Just Desserts and I will die. I also would really like to draw into a Dark Hole or something, but... Okay, so... Revive Skull Knight, so that's in our library. The other card I'm interested in reviving is, uh, Rageki. And then I don't really care if I die. We do want to edit the deck to give ourselves more like life point recovery cards anyway. And there's Regeki. Alright, he's got Cosmo Queen's Prayer, so... If we win, we can get that. I don't think we're gonna win, though. It's really unlikely that we win. We got the Eye of Truth, whoa. Just Desserts, yeah, because that card, if you have just all your cards out, it can do up to 3k damage, which is really scary, but... It's just kind of part of the game, I guess. The first time you see it, and you don't know, it's, like, really scary. Oh shit! Fuck yeah, I'm gonna take this. Look at that, that's epic. <laughs> that's good. Alright, I'll, I'll play that. That'll work. The problem is, I don't really have a lot of damage right now. I just don't. Um, so I have to make an epic play. Actually, there's no cards to revive, so... Really, there's no cards to revive anymore. So I don't really have damage anymore. I can revive my soul eater, but it won't have damage anymore. It'll have like 1700 damage. Yeah, it's like that. What's up, Red? Alright, we can't actually win anymore. So, that's that. Gotta call it there. I actually can't beat him anymore. But it's fine, we got, um, I revived Skull Knight and all this shit, so that's pretty cool. I revived Rageki as well, so that's cool. We've got a few cards on the list. It doesn't actually matter the result of that duel. We need a better deck to, like, beat him anyway, like, consistently. What 
What do you mean, Ryoko on Immortal? That would have just killed my own card, and I wouldn't have been able to attack him. If I Ryoko there, I would have just killed my own thing. If I attack directly there, I eat a Mirror Force anyways. And I had no way of really getting rid of that Mirror Force. So, apart from attacking into it, so... Alright, who we want from Yugi? We want uh, Dark Magician Girl. And then we want... What's it called? He's got two rituals, actually. Black Luster Ritual. And um, Dark Magic Ritual. If I want to start the epic chain of bullshit, I need to play Darkness Approaches before I flip my thing up. Here's the strategy, guys. This is the strategy. Ready? I'm stupid. We're supposed to fucking play... What's it called? <laughs> We're supposed to play Darkness Approaches before we flip this up, and then we can do this. It's fine, it still works, but... Now, when we flip up Magician of Faith, we can revive Darkness Approaches, and we can flip this back down, so we can keep activating Rigorous Lever now. So watch this. So he'll play a card, which means he draws a full hand. So we destroy his whole hand. We haven't even drawn our own hand yet, mind you. Now before we activate, uh, yeah, okay. So we do this. And then we revive the darkness approaches again. And then now, next turn, we can flip up the Darkness Approaches, and then flip this up and kill his hand. And then... Magician of Faith. Revive the Darkness Approaches again. And we can just do this for all of his cards. And then revive the... Um, Dark Magician Girl. And then purge all of his monsters from the graveyard. And then get his rituals. Hopefully that's, that's the plan. Only good indie or non-mainstream video games have this eerie gameplay. Have you played Elden Ring, my man? Elden Ring's a good game, you should try it. That's a full price game, it costs friggin' $90 Australian. There's Dark Magician Girl. Alright. So we want that card. So I'm gonna bait... I want Dark Magician Girl to destroy this. And then I can revive it. 
Yeah, he has a brain control, but we already got that card, so we don't need it. Nice. There you go. So she attacks this, and then the Dark Magician Girl's gonna die from Slate Warrior leaving Crush. And then we revive the Dark Magician Girl. And then that means we will have that card in our library. <laughs> and then all we want after that is his ritual cards. Dude, I love that guy. Did you guys just see that? He does that quite often, I'm not surprised. He literally uh, kept going about... Yeah, it does. So my... The, um... Swords is great in this game. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Swords means I can't get his Dark Magician Girl anymore. But it's fine. We'll just try to get his other cards. We still need, like, we might even need one more than one round to get his other cards anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. No, you can't. It literally stuns all of your cards for three turns, and you... It flips them all face up, so it disables their, like, flip effects and stuff. You should take that back. Honestly, Swords is one of the strongest cards in the game. It's actually very, very strong. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. I should probably put Shift in this deck so I can move my Soul Leader around. I think that's probably something I should have done, like, ages ago. Nice. He is literally about to run into cards, by the way. He's probably gonna freaking flip up and attack with this card, and I don't really want him to do that, but... That's his last card! He can't draw any more cards anymore. He should have Mirror Force alive then, right?
Well, this will tell us. We know what- this is such an anime moment. Look at this shit. That is- see? Mirror Force was his bottom card. Literally his bottom card. What do I think this game could change in order of being successful or fun? Uh, good question. Good question. Hold on a minute. I want to do a pro gamer move. Hold on a second. Um, well, there's the Redux mod. I don't know if you've played this or know about the Redux mod, Reptile, but this is something that we did to put some more light into the game. Um, so check that out if you're looking for that. Redux mod, the leveling is faster. Check out that link. You've played it, had a blast. I mean, that's the best that I can do. Really. Alright, so I'm gonna change of heart and take control of his Mirror Force. So that I can attack over it. It's now ours, so I can go ahead and, um... Do this. And then now I can attack him directly. With this. Oh, he ate his own Dark Magician. This is such an anime duel right now, honestly. This is such an anime duel. The odds are against him, but unfortunately for him, it's not really... Like, he can't actually do anything. Um, yeah, the game's not going to get a remake. I don't really know what's going to make people more interested in it. It's kind of helped that Forbidden Memories have, has had a big boon. But honestly, um, people could kind of forget this game exists. I feel like I'm, like, the only person actually advocating for this game at any given time. Try and get a ritual here. There's so many cards here, oh my god. Shit, we missed it by one. I, seriously, like... I can't even see properly. There's so many cards in this graveyard, seriously, like... And I missed, I missed two of them by one. Yo, Xeno Knight, what's up? Hey. What's up? Well, that was a complete failure of a duel. That was actually a massive waste of time. Uh. That sucks, man. He fucking, he saws a revealing light at my soul leader, so it killed his dark magician girl after we baited it into dying so he could revive it, so we couldn't revive it. Um, sorry, yeah, that was a bunch of bollocks. How are you, Xeno? How about I do inputs properly? That might be a good idea. I really would like to get this done before I go to bed, and then I can say goodbye to it, because I start work tomorrow. I got work four nights in a row. Am I looking forward to it? Honestly, not really. What have I got left? Um, still quite a bit. Honestly. Still quite a handful. I still gotta do, like, all of Exodia. 
I think, uh... I don't know if change of heart and then activating a card counts, but I think I did that with Diane Keto. I still have hours left, honestly. It's past 1am. The thing is, if I really push for this and then I can't make it to the end, then the next stream is going to be like a half an hour of doing this shit, honestly. Depends what I count. What do you mean? If the card's in my library, it counts. Absolutely, it counts. Yep, and I'm not doing that. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when I say, like, this isn't an official speedrun. Nobody ever actually set the rule anyway that you're supposed to obtain hard copies of all the library, so... Could have saved some passwords. I just wanted to enter them all so that I knew I had all those passwords entered if I wanted a card in my deck to farm or whatever, so... I'll just draw a goddamn card, oh my god. I've also done a very, um, very cunning manip for reincarnation. If I do say so myself. Which, literally, if this was an official run, it would invalidate at 100%, I, and I'm well aware of that. At this point, I'm beyond caring, because I need to take care of my insanity right now. The aesthetics are delightful, and the sad truth is, 90s Konami does not exist anymore. It's a completely different company. Like... These games just aren't happening anymore. You're more likely to get that out of a 90s Konami game you haven't played. Like, you know, Symphony of the Night is probably a closer game that you're gonna get to anything released nowadays. If you really want the Konami aesthetic. Nice. That's the Black Luster Ritual. Yep, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's probably a game you're interested in if you like the Konami aesthetic. So I still need, um... Dark Magic Ritual, and I want to revive... What's it called? Dark Magician Girl. I was going to, and then he sort of revealing lighted my thing. I'm just reviving them. I gotta summon Skull, if that counts. The unfortunate truth is, it's taking way, 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 way longer than I would like it to. And I have real life responsibilities. That are... More important... Than... Spending... Six hours trying to, like, get two cards in a game.
Do I like exercising? Honestly, I wish I did, because if I did, I probably would. Um, I think exercising is a massive chore. The only exercise I get is walking pretty much half an hour every day. I literally walk to the shop and back, and my motivation to go for a walk and get outside the house is to go and buy, like, a coffee at the cafe. Ooh, nice. That's actually the card we want. I hate running. I wish I liked running. It's probably one of my least favorite things to do. Especially, like, here, it's just so hot that you literally, like, you have to run before the sun comes up. Or it's impossible to run in summer. Like, it's just impossible. Two regeki, Jesus Christ. Dark Magician Girl's done for. We've done that. Regress Lever got promoted again. What do you know? Uh, nothing. What makes you like running? I wish I liked running. I really wish I liked exercising. See if I can reincarnate and I can get the the last Fiend Reflection, the last reincarnation card I need, Fiend Reflection number two. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't, re I don't think I saved before this, so... Pfft. Whatever. I'll just save. I'll just save over that, and I gotta do five more duels anyway, that was just stupid. I probably actually did save, but I don't even know at this point. I'm, I'm running on fumes. That was just a pointless reincarnation. Doesn't even matter. I got unfinished business at Joey. Oh, exceeded deck cost level. Fuck. Yeah, well, I didn't say that it was better in cold weather. I'm just saying that it's literally impossible to run in summer because it's like 40 degrees Celsius. Like, you just can't run unless it's 6 in the morning, pretty much. Like, it's impossible. Like, it's actually unhealthy to do that. Otherwise, because it's like, when it's summer comes, you've got three months where you just can't really do anything, and it just sucks. You know? Don't know how many cards I have left to go. Let's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50 cards left. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. But I am getting a bit drained, so it's making this a lot harder towards the end. My patience. Uh, I got quite impatient and I did something to the game that I probably shouldn't have done, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. You'll see what happens next time I reincarnate. You're so nosy now? What do you mean? You're fine. Pff, only that? Okay. Alright, whatever. Alright, whatever. Yeah, honestly, like, unless you're in autumn or spring here, the weather is, like, not good to be outside doing anything and like honestly 
spring... Not autumn, but spring kills me. It's tree lopping season, and it, like my allergies are so goddamn bad, it's not even funny. It's actually like really bad. Um, to the point where like if I go outside, I'm just going to be blowing my nose for the next hour. So... Walking is the only exercise I get, and I lose so much weight via sweating, like... It's actually insane. Yeah, what do you mean your nose is, you know? I'm happy to tell you guys what I did to make this a bit easier for myself, but I just don't want to cause a fucking giant shitstorm. Because I want people to know that... If I didn't do what I did, I probably wouldn't finish this, and that would just be horrible. Alright. <sighs> Shit, man. Oh my god. Alright, if I'm gonna do this, I may as well just... ...not dump anything. Where's the Megasonic Eye? That's what I'm here for. I'm literally only here for the Megasonic Eye. Then I don't actually need to duel this guy anymore after that, so that's cool. Well, screw you, buddy, Panther Warrior. Gonna make me angry, but you prefer Cosmo Queen aesthetic better than Dark Elf? Nah, you're fine. I like Cosmo Queen, honestly. I do like Cosmo Queen a lot. I appreciate most of the female characters in this game, so don't worry about it. You're all good. Where is his Megasonic Eye? It's nowhere to be found. Uh, he has so many cards in the graveyard now that it actually is like impossible to get that card if we actually drop it. Which sucks. Unless we Soul Eater it, but I'll just go in again, honestly. There's honestly no female character in the game that I don't really appreciate in some capacity, honestly. I think it's cool in general that they did a whole female archetype in this game. You can tell it was one of Kazuki Takahashi's dreams. To make that a thing. No, that doesn't count. No, 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 no. I even... To be honest, man, I actually forget those fucking monsters are in the game because I don't even fucking pay any attention to them when I see them on the screen. Dancing Elf is better. She's like, she's all dressed up for the bowl, you know? Something in my eye. Or is that just like a hair? Yeah. 
No, 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 no. I'm literally here only to play Megasonic Eye. That's it. That is the only reason why I'm in this duel. There's nothing else to get from this guy that I need. He doesn't have any rituals either. Slate Warrior. Look at him fucking dance, son. Oh shit, he got Spellbound, so he's frozen now. Fuck you, Dryad. Am I holding up? I'm getting quite drained, honestly. Quite drained. Much work to do. I really just want to get the rest of this out of the way. I, like, I've said this before a few times, but when I am, like, when I go to work and come back home and I want to stream, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be thinking about having to come home and do this after work. I really don't. I'm just being brutally honest. Wait, did he have Megasonic Eye? We may as well check. No. Yeah, like, look, I just gotta- I- some of you guys already know this, but I have a lot of, like, real-life shit going on. Um... And, um... I had to take, like, five days off. And then this weekend is basically the only chance that I have to do this before I start working. And when it comes to working... I don't, yeah, I don't really want to, like, have this on my mind when I'm at work, because I'm going to be... It's a new job, and I want to be focused on that, so... You know. I want to be as focused as possible on my new job. And I want to have something to come home and, like, look forward to. Rather than come, like, dread coming home from work, like, I don't really want my life to just tank completely. All of a sudden. Alright, we're giving up on that one as well. We'll go again. Again, literally only here for Megasonic Eye. And he has a lot of trash and he doesn't want to draw it in the, in the higher end of his deck, so that's making it painful. I'm trying to dump his hand to the graveyard until he drops Megasonic Eye so I can revive it.
There's the Megasonic Eye. Great. Nice. That's what we wanted. Now we can just surrender the duel. We don't need to go to this duel anymore, so that's pretty cool. Keith, we need Machine King and Blast Juggler. I think I'll do that next. So if I sound drained, it's because I've literally been streaming for 9 hours and 20 minutes just trying to get cards, so, yeah. Alright, um... We're going to get Spellbound. That's great. That's great. That's what we want, you know. I haven't seen Dark Hole. We must not have it in my goddamn deck. You know, that's kind of a bit of a mistake, but oh well. Nice. Limit removal. Cool, bro. Cool story. No, on any of those gods. He's just got complete trash, so that's great. I don't want any of those cards, honestly. I really wish he played Machine King. <laughs> oh my god. This guy is epic. Look at him go. Look at him go, man. Doesn't even care about his own cards.
Oh, wow, we got a stain storm. That's great. No Machine King. No. Limit or removal. I'll remove your limit. Holy shit. Let's not do this. Let's not. Oh my god, he actually defended. What the fuck? Of course it's a gold oil. What the hell, man? What the actual fuck? Oh my god. Golgoyle, it's just an annoying card, honestly. If you want a pretty card that he plays, I mean this card, look at this giant mech soldier, look at this. Look at him, man, he looks awesome. This card looks... He doesn't look bad, it just, I don't know, it looks kind of funny. Not really cute, I would say. Let's send his hand to the Shadow Realm. His graveyard's probably full. Um, well, nothing, nothing we want. Well, that was a failed experiment. So that's great. I know, I see him a lot, except when I actually want him, want to see him, like, right now. I don't see him at all, so that's awesome. I think I'm going to do the mature thing, guys, and call it here. Um, I really would have loved to finish this tonight, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I really would love to just have done all this by the end of this weekend. I really aim to do that. I started the stream, like, as early as I possibly could today to try to get this all done for you guys. And I'm just fading, fading, fading. And, um... I think I need to make the mature decision to realize that video games aren't more important than my whole life. Uh, I'm doing this for the sake of the stream and you guys. And I would have really loved to get it done today, but um, I can't. I can't do this. My brain's just not working anymore. Like, I'm just... I've been playing this for nine and a half hours, just staring at the screen pretty much, and my brain is just needs a break from this. I need to rest my eyes, I need to think about going to bed and worrying about, um, I'm starting a new job tomorrow, and that honestly is way, way more important than this. Um, unfortunately tomorrow, I, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, I'm going to have work, 
I've got a night shift tomorrow. Um, the nights after that, however, I'll get back to this. I've already done the painful parts, honestly. Just when I have more energy and I'm not super drained, the rest is going to be fine to do, honestly. I'm not going to mind doing the other, the other stuff. It might be a bit frustrating, but... It'll be a lot less frustrating when I'm full of energy and not doing this for nine and a half hours straight. So that's part two. Part three, I'm going to start the timer from 1452.49.82. Um, so that's part two.